Okay, so when we last left off, you guys had uh, traveled. Seven seventeen. Over- mark this day. Seven seventeen. Right, you guys had uh, traveled across Euclidium. You had found the Stargazer statue, mm-hmm. which I'm showing to you on screen. Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, you had, as you approached it, you were attacked by a skyfisher and a dinosaur type creature and a sniper from within the statue itself. Um, Ghost took it upon himself to turn into the Flash, race through the sky sky gazer, almost die. Um, Managed to wrestle the sniper rifle from the sniper. You guys uh, continued the battle where Ozzy almost single-handedly defeated the dinosaur, got a little help. Um, The telepathic sky fisher realized that it did not need to be in battle and retreated. Now, why was it there in the first place? And that is where we left off. I'm going to do something that's going to, that may irritate you or you may be happy about. I am going to hand wave the next battle. There is no point in you guys wasting time fighting three level one cultists within the Stargazer statue. Oh, I was looking forward to cleaning them up. Oh, it's too bad. I will still we give you the treasure, it. Mom. <laughs> Fair enough. Bob, we just did it. You missed it. Oh, yes. very good. Oh, okay. Ghost, ghost it, was, it was a ghost speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call back the uh, Fisher to eat the dinosaur as a uh, blessing from us to them. <laughs> All right. As you go through the um, the gear, you find uh, two sets of... Is somebody writing this down or no? Bob's doing it. Okay. Yeah. Um, pretty standard fare for the cultists. Okay, um, two sets of Lashunta Ringwear 1. Two defiant long swords. It'd be really nice if any of us other than Ozzy could use this stuff. Um, one shot grenade, level one. Is I that... believe the long sword might be more than like two feet taller than me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Josh, just to be uh, make sure we're pl- uh, being fair, he threw a shot grenade down at me. So did he ha- yes, originally start with two? Point. Okay. Uh, they each had one, and he used one. Gotcha. Uh, util- utility scatter two utility scatter guns with twenty five shells each. That'll be good for trigger. And an additional three hundred credits on a cre- on two credits spread across two credit sticks. And then the sniper has slightly different gear. Are you ready for that? Uh, hang on. Yep. I should have typed this up and pasted it in. Sorry. No worries. Okay, keep going. Um, Kasatha Microcord 1. I'm assuming this is like the replacement for 50 feet of rope. A tactical dueling sword. Okay. You already took the, sh- the Sheeran Eye Rifle, but it had 50 long arm rounds on it. Ooh, that's helpful. That uh, dueling sword sounds sexy. I have one. One mark, one serum of healing. That's helpful. Ooh, that and a thousand credits. Credits. Ooh. Ooh yeah. That's a lot of credits. It's a lot of credits. He's a sniper. He paid a lot of money. They are. They are all mercenaries. Uh, no. Yes, they all mercenaries. They're cultist mercenaries. So, uh, does anybody want to steal any of that stuff quick? Uh, I don't know that you can really carry the extra Lashanta ringwear since it's heavy armor. Can we throw it in? Oh no, we're not anywhere near our vehicles. You are not near your vehicles, though. No. Can just, I, I can trudge back yeah. and forth to the vehicles so we can abandon them later. Because we're not going out the way we came in. You know that already. <laughs> yeah. uh, I believe the way your home Adam is. I, I mean, yeah, the right. armor... I, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Can anyone use that armor? I mean, this is the one, not the two. Is is it heavy armor, even the one? I've looked yeah, it up. Uh, the Kasatha Microcord is light armor. Uh, oh. It's a level oh. two armor. Uh, it costs 460 each. Uh, so if nothing else, it's got environmental controls lasting us for two nights. So I think we should definitely grab the Kasatha microcord because it's light. We can carry that. Um, What's Jeff's armor? What's, What's your armor, Chris? I have a three. I have a graphite uh, carbon. This one is EAC one and KAC plus three. I'm a three four. Yep. What about Jeff? Jeffy, what do you got? Okay, and I think I still have my original. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you have your original stuff. We didn't get you. Second. Just yeah. yeah, so only. 
DAC one, KAC two. This is yeah. this may might be better. The only catch is that Kasatha Microcord doesn't give you a full freedom of movement. So the max dex bonus you can give yourself is plus three while you're wearing the armor. So is your dexterity bonus greater than plus three? Uh, uh. My dex bonus is plus. I imagine you said two. It sounded like a yeah. two. Okay. And oh, and the one other downside: if you put on the Kasatha, you will get an extra plus one to your KAC. Uh, there is an armor check penalty on skills of minus one, uh, dex related skills. So if you put that on, you get the a plus one to your KAC, but a slight minus to your dex based skills. Plus a bad rash. Hey. <laughs> I think it's dex and strength. Oh, is it dex and strength? Oh, that makes sense. So, uh, Nala. There's only one strength ability that's athletics, so it's yes. not like it's. That big. I mean, oh, it, it does lot, not affect it's... your piloting. the The total list is acrobatics, athletics, sleight of hand, and stealth. Oh, okay. Those are the ones that have an armor check penalty. So, what do you say, uh, Nala? You want to swap out your second skin for the Kasatha Microcord? I think that sounds like a good idea. I agree. So, give yourself an extra plus one to KAC. And trigger, you just used a healing serum Mark Two. So, do you want to take that Mark One as a replacement? Uh, sure. Plus all of the shells for your shatter gun, scatter gun. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm carrying like fifty rounds now. <laughs> if nothing else, we could sell it later. <laughs> or, or seventy-five rounds. Yeah, I have like seventy-five rounds. I think because you, it's a big bag. Twenty-five more of them, right? Pouches are full. Actually, uh, there were two people with twenty-five each, so plus fifty. Oh, yeah, so that's a hundred. Yeah. Also, last but not least, uh, shoot, Mikey. <laughs> I imagine Ozzy is proficient with every single weapon that exists, right? Uh, no, I forget what I'm not proficient with, though. To be honest. How about a sniper rifle? We have two sniper rifles now. Does anybody know sniper rifles? Uh, I do, but I can't use this one, I think. Way too big. Uh, I, I can use it, so you should be able to as well. Oh, unless... Oh, no, I, I can, it, but, it, I mean, do, it, isn't there some sort of penalty on this thing? This thing's got to be... Oh, it yeah, is. Yeah, you, you have to shoot every other turn. Yeah, it's a, you, you only yeah. get one shot, and then it takes a round to reload. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, I mean, I mean, there's no point, I mean, I, I guess we can carry it. It's worth a sure. lot, yeah, we can sell it later, I suppose. <clears throat> Plus, it also it also it also isn't necessarily a bad thing to be able, since both you and I can shoot a sniper rifle from a trained perspective. We're not untrained in it. Agree, that could be useful if we ever have a fight again on a map that has more than 80, 80 feet. But I don't know if that's yeah. ever going to happen. We'll have to see. <laughs> so, all right, no interest in the defiant long swords with the tactical sword. I think we're going to grab it all, except for the heavy armor, which is too heavy. But the other stuff, I think, between all of us, we can carry. So I suggest we just grab it all. Anyone disagree? Hey, how, how long are those swords? Like, the thing, like, that curve... Is that the curve thing that, that Simeon has? Or is that different now? Simeon, what do you have for a weapon? I have the uh, dueling tactical sword. That, okay, so there you go, Mikey. That's what he has. Oh, okay, all right. So, but yeah, the other one was the defiant sword, long sword. I couldn't use. Okay. Yeah, because it's an advanced melee weapon. Correct. Right. So, all right. Um, so you guys explore through the statue, and uh, the one spot that uh, oops, is it the one spot that uh, Ghost didn't see in his. Um, Extremely fast tour. Uh, he actually, he, he saw he made it to the head, and there was actually another staircase that led up all the way up to the hand that was extended overhead. Mm. And from there, you get a, a beautiful view of the valley of the, of the area, and you can make out uh, the mountains in the distance that you're heading for, and you actually see the ruins of a city at the foot of the mountains. And that is clearly based on a notebook where you're headed. Um, 
the information you have is that's where Tahoe Min is headed as well. We don't see any movement, uh, any one walking through the the jungle or uh, arriving at that location from our vantage point, do we? No, it's it's not close. It's like a, it's probably a day's journey. Okay. Uh, also, did you say there was like a pool or something? Um, I remember naked naked elves. There, there was a pool where you first walked in. It was it was empty at the time. It was empty. Um, I can read you the description if you'd like. Well, not that I'm metagaming, but uh, the fact that you chose not to bring it up suggests that it's descriptive only. But please. <laughs> uh, it, it, it had had relevance, but we're just because of what happened. It doesn't work. It doesn't work anymore. So we're just getting it. So. Those um, damn cults just broke the fountain. Yes, they did. <laughs> so. All right. Um, that you guys is, head out into, into the jungle. I assume we search the interior of the statue. We don't find anything else of interest. Correct. Okay. Correct. Are, are we traveling to the heart of the jungle? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Oh, oh, I spend 10 minutes and use a resolve oh, point to get my stamina back. Yeah, okay. So let's, let's do a quick uh, cap here of where everybody is because I know Ghost took a beating. And may I say for the record, uh, I was two points away from permanent death last game. I was very stupid and very lucky. So where are you now? Uh, well, thanks to that healing serum, Mark II, I am fully healed on hit points. And if I spend one resolve point, I'll be back up to full stamina. So I'm going to be... How many points do you have? Uh, 20, 20, I think. I thought the Mark II was only 2d8. 3d8. Okay. 3d8. It's 1d8 for the Mark 1s and 3d8 for the Mark 2s. Okay. So, All right, yeah, um, I'm at 20 hit points now. I'm down to four resolve points and back to full stamina. Okay. Um, trigger, you heard it all? Uh, negative. Nala? I don't believe so. Ozzy? Uh, I'm only down four. I'm good. Okay. Elise? I'm down a couple. I got healed at one point, so I'm not too bad. Sivian? I'm down to 19 stamina for seven. But I realized after uh, looking at my character sheet, I never equipped my uh, armor. So now I'll be harder to hit. Um, are you spending a resolve point like uh, with, with, along with Ghost to fully heal your stamina? Nah. Okay. You're only down four, right? Uh, 27 to 19. 20, oh, you're down eight? Not much. Yeah, not okay. much. All right. Uh, by the time you are within a half day's journey from the site, the jungle thins out slightly and the ground rises, giving way to a stretch of verdant rolling foothills crisscrossed by meandering creeks, the sources in the striking peaks of the singing range to the north and west. It's very tranquil. Um, you know, there's not a lot of stuff in your way. You can, you can see the ruins right at the foot of the mountains. I can't wait to see a picture of it. Don't have a picture of it. <laughs> oh, okay. You need to use the theater of the imagination, Jeff. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure Bob will find something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, you, you finish your journey. You get to this, the, uh, the ruined city. It's at the foot of mountains. Um, it's, been, it's been abandoned for millennia. I mean, the stone is worn. You can't read any of the details. Um, you can see halfway up the mountain that there is a, a structure up there. Um, and if you look closer, you can see that there used to be a staircase that is worn out with time and we're going to you are going to have to climb up there hmm. so so i've read all the rules and i assembled a climbing challenge oh based on the rules i think the first thing we should do is tie everybody together yeah, agreed mike <laughs> right all right that? and we should die, tie bob twice Points. <laughs> All right. I am go. dropping my uh, armor I just put on. I'm putting my second skin back on. <laughs> All right. If you go into handouts, there's a handout called climbing rules. Oh, you just you just oh, you popped it up, for, it up us. for us. That's cool. Which You're is so awesome. Thank you. Doing things. All right. So it talks about the details of, of the climb here, um, and this is the very bottom here. So I'm going to change the picture, and then we'll come back to the climbing rules for a second. All right. If I can figure out how to do that. There we are. 
so if you look here, there are five distinct zones. You are at the bottom zone, and there's a black line, another zone, so on and so forth. Can you see that? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is like driving all over again, isn't it? No, it isn't, because I, I made this. I I improvised. Bob, or, or Mike, this is vertical. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, this, totally, this is totally a, different. Okay. You haven't driven out in Montana, have you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is a DC-15 athletics check to advance a level. And this is in the climbing rules. You can scroll down to the bottom. If you fail by less than five, you do not advance. If you fail by more than five, you fall one level. And you take falling damage plus 1d4 for debris. Um, two boulders will randomly fall every time from cultists at the top. Since there are six of you, I will roll 2d6, and whoever's in that slot will have a boulder rolled at them. And then it's a DC 12 athletics check to dodge it. On a success, no damage. On a fail, damage. Fail by more than five damage, you'll fall on level. These are medium-sized boulders. They do 3d6 damage. Half damage at less than 30 feet. So once you get past the midway point, they do 3d6 divided by two. Simple enough. Like one and a half d6? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> One question. Does anybody have a spell to be able to fly? I have jump jets. Ah. I don't know how that applies here. How well, How big are the... What's the distance? Between what, 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 is your jump, what does your jump jet allow? 30 feet. I would say each, each distance is probably about 15 to 20 feet. So I would allow you to jump jet up or jump jet to save yourself from falling. Okay. Yeah, I'm not just going to jump jet. To, I don't think I can actually do that. Yeah. So... All right, so um, we can go in the order at the bottom of the screen here. So, Trigger, you look, are you are furthest to the left? Okay. Give me an athletics check. Oh, well, are you um, taking precautions? Are you tying each other together? What are you doing? I think we need two. <laughs> groups. I really, I really, 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 really hate to agree with Adam, but. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe corners or. Historically, as a group, we just do not do well with climbing. <laughs> I do almost as bad with being tied together while we climb, but you know this time could be different. Right. This is this is why I picked it out because you guys are so bad at climbing. I know. Or uh, I have no idea what Jeff just said. Something no. about nobody about does. <laughs> Bob. No. Uh, oh, yes. Bob. <laughs> what is your athletics? It doesn't matter because I'm still gonna roll terribly. However, uh, my athletics is, uh, scroll in there, uh, six. Oh. Wait, I've somebody a has a higher ability than, um, than our, um, uh, which one, than our, like, I didn't know that was allowed. <laughs> I know. My strength is horrible. My strength is an eight. I have a minus one, I think, on strength. All right. Is there any way to help each other or no? You tell me what you're going to do and how, and, and we'll work that out. I, I, this, this is supposed to be not a long event. This is supposed to be like 10 minutes to do something different to try. <laughs> oh, we can Gosh, better this for... Climb. You, you can better this for an hour, I know. Easily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you do want... you want to go in the order of the icons or of us? Icon, of, the icons, of the icons. Because I can make the map. Okay, so um, you need a you need a DC fifteen climbing check, right? Athletics or climb? Yeah, athletics. Oh, sorry, athletics. Which one is ghost and which one is trigger? Trigger's one. Um, I rolled a twenty-one. A twenty-one. All right. So you successfully make the climb to the next level. Are you? Ah! Did you tie it? Did, ah! did you tie yourself? Did you guys tie together? Oh God, no. Adam and Adam and Bob and Mike were kind of a, 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 in, in interested in tying. So what are you I, doing? I hear you chuckling, so that's never good. They can tie themselves together. <laughs> oh God! No, nope. I, I, I will tie myself to whomever wants to be tied. <clears throat> I, I feel like I feel like I'm going to be the anchor in this. So Ghost is going to tie himself to Ozzy, definitely. All right. Maybe I should just have, instead of tying us all in a oh, line, speak. maybe we should do hub and spoke and everybody just tie themselves to me. Hey, good. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, you tried that once with spiders. That was pretty bad. Oh, Can't yeah. we do, like, 
like Andre climbing and uh, <laughs> yeah. everybody just holds on his back and with these Adam hoops, just climbs. But the, but the man in black will climb faster because, you know, he only has to carry himself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, since Jules has placed you guys in. No, order, I haven't. You calm down. What are, who's moving stuff and why are you moving why stuff? Because I'm putting them in order like you me. Okay, Jules has to put you guys in order a second. <laughs> All right, who's uh, who's next? Um, it should have gone ghost then trigger, but it won't. Go ahead, trigger. go ahead, Bob. Okay. Or are you waiting for Adam? Uh, I think I'm gonna wait for Ozzy, and I'll delay. Okay, so well, somehow I'm like two thirds of the way there already. I'm trying. It keeps doing weird stuff. How about this, Jules? Just don't. Just don't. There. All better. That, sorry, that was me. Did you just move it? I, I I stopped your movement. Now it's down at the bottom. Okay. Um. Adam, you're going to get a minus two, and in turn, he will get a plus five. Okay. Plus five. Wow. Well, Adam's going to have full. Ozzy's going to have to pull him up. Mm-hmm. Feel free to RP this all you want, Ozzy. So Ozzy puts one hand on the rock, starts to lift himself up, gets gets his you know, and then, then looks down at, at the little uh, Yusoki down at the bottom, lowers his, himself down with one hand, sticks out his left hand and grabs him. And like as as he's pulling himself up with his right hand, he's also pulling trigger up with the left hand. Or ghost. They'll look the same to me. <laughs> It'd be go- it would be ghost. That is racist. <laughs> What's your athletics bonus? Uh, eleven. So you said it's a minus two. Yeah. So you're fifteen. Makes- you succeed. All right, ghost. Uh, make this your- is how we climb in the military. That is very impressive. I will follow you now. All right, go ahead, Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I have rolled a natural one. Yeah, that's about that's about right for me in climbing. Yep. Get it out of the way. Get it out of the way. <laughs> I believe the, the good news is, is this will be this all night long. It's all last session, and then that's what happened. <laughs> what was that, Adam? The good news is that he couldn't have pulled anybody off because he didn't fall far enough to drag anybody down. No. All I can see is he gets like three feet up, he slips, and he falls on his bottom. Uh, uh, his bottom. <laughs> Nala, is- you're up. Uh, she's going to climb up. All right. Using her uh, knowledge of the planet and the terrain, and here she goes. It's a wall, man. She got a 10. So you you do not. What is your athletics? Plus four. So you need to roll on eleven. Okay. Uh, and you, you, so you did not make up the climb either. All right, Ilesi. Oh, this is bad. My athletics is zero. <laughs> and I rolled an eight. All right. I may have said this DC too high. <laughs> Go ahead, Steven. Do I fall? You, you're, you never, fall off the I think you're still on mute, Chris. You never bring off the ground. Mm-hmm. Oh. There's the Chris internet we're used to. Right. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. No, no, oh, no, can you hear no, me? no, it was just muting. Yeah. Yep, you're fine. Sorry. Yeah, no, I, I got a call from. Uh, it, it, it has to be athletics, huh? Can't be uh, acrobat? Okay. No, that's the dodge. <laughs> oh, good. Thank God. Okay. What if I dodge my way up the mountain? It has to be a negative one in here, so let's look. No, take a look because I don't think I roll, rolled it correctly. You roll the DC 50. You made a 15 shot. That's it. Yeah, no, no, no. Because my I have a negative one on but it, I'm trying to do the... Uh, I'm looking at it. It's 16 plus one. Pl- I don't know where the plus one plus two is coming from. It should be a D20 minus one, I think. No, no. Uh, Chris, take a closer look. It, you rolled a 16. Then there's the plus one, but then there's a plus negative two for a net of minus one. So you rolled a 16. It subtracted one. You got a 15. So I think that is exactly what you want it yep. to be. Yeah, if you rest over, it tells you it breaks out. Oh, oh yeah. But, uh, six strength? I don't no, know. I seven, dodge seven strength. Strength. No, dodge or eight. Dodge a boulder. All right, good. Okay, perfect. All right. So he he has to roll a 16, 17, 18, 19, or 20 to move? Oh, boy. You're going to need to yeah. help. That's the, that, that was the... <laughs> Two boulders come crashing down from the overhead. You better not get hit by a boulder. Watch out, there is a boulder up ahead. Hey, is that a boulder? Guys, look, there are boulders! Oh, man. Oh, never mind. That is more like a pebble. I thought it was a big boulder. (laughs) (laughs) It is not so bad. It's like rock and roll. 
Uh oh, it is getting bigger as it gets closer. <laughs> That's what it is. It was just very far away. It was. All right. Uh, so Nala and Sivan, you have to make an ac uh, acrobatics check to dodge. Gotcha. I failed it. Dang it! Roll. I rolled a three. I was gonna say you didn't even check what the DC was. <laughs> My acrobatics is a six plus six, so I got a nine. You can... All right, so you you dodge you you fail to dodge. You're gonna take half damage. Actually, you're on the ground. I'm not gonna give you any damage. <laughs> Chris, would you roll? Hold on, I, I, I didn't add the thing. Uh, there you go. Right, Twenty three. So you, you successfully dodged the boulder. The boulders come rambling down. All right, back to the top. Um, Ghost, are you holding off? Yeah, I'm going to wait for Ozzy, for sure. All right, trigger. Actually, with the cultists up there, I may just try to scramble up and take care of them and then come back for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you, Mikey. Thank you, muted, Mike. Four, I rolled a 14. Oh, come on, really? Couldn't find one more in there? Um... No. Okay. <laughs> you don't advance. Um, Adam, I will give you the choice. You can mm -hmm. um, advance with your minus two again, or you can stay, and since you're braced, you can give uh, you can give Ghost like a plus seven. I no, I think I, I think I think I got to get up this cliff. <laughs> like, I I, I'm actually thinking I'm not even, I'm just going to focus on climbing and okay. not take the minus two. That's fine. You drop the rope. Oh, that's a good roll. Do, do I get to, do I get to advance two for that one? <laughs> <laughs> that's a hell of a roll. Maybe, maybe on a natural that? twenty. What is that uh, total out to be? Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Adam, you know how to roll a natural twenty? <laughs> it's happened once or twice. <laughs> yeah, usually he's targeting Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the other way around. <laughs> Nala, you're up. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use my turn turn to help Alice. Uh, get up this first first Wait. block here. Hey, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, actually as as gonna... Ozzy's climbing, he wants to shout, "Can you provide covering fire?" You they can, you you can't see them up there. They're just rolling boulders off of a cliff from behind the cliff. What if I shoot the boulders? How do they have any kind of accuracy whatsoever? It's like, like, like I'm, I'm gonna good. move. I'm gonna move to the left one, and they'll never know I'm there. They'll never hit me. There's six <laughs> of us. They just throw it over. Yeah, I guess that's why they ran fish in a barrel. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to aid uh, Alisi. Should I make a? So I'm, you... gonna, I'm gonna yell at Alisi and tell her she can do this. <laughs> and I'm really going to try to. Uh, are, you, are, you gonna, are you gonna put your hands up and like boost her up? Hey. <laughs> no matter how little I believe she can do this, I'm gonna bluff and say she can get up this thing. She, 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 without you. she rolled a 16. Nice. <laughs> Sitting, you're up. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, athletics. That's an eight. Yep. Yeah, that's an eight. All yeah. right. How do the, why did I write the rule? If you if, fall. If you fail by fall. five or more, then you fall backwards. So the target yes. was 15, so he failed by uh, more than five. So he goes, so he fell, goes backwards. Fell backwards. With an acrobatics check, you take no damage. That means I have a 50% chance of falling back every time. So you, <laughs> <laughs> all right. <so> you, <laughs> you really just rolled a... Uh, yeah, I rolled a natural one. That's good. <laughs> so, guys, I think the trick here is we have to... We can't go up alone. We have to help each other because the pluses we get will put it beyond 50%. If we try doing alone, unless we're Ozzy we're going to just have a 50% chance every time. So I think we... Oh, I thought he was going to say abandon us. So <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Character growth. All right, the so good news we... is, is that I have the rope tied to me right now. Mm. The bad news is I have rope tied to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Chris, it's a D6 for the fall damage. Yep. Which is five. And then the D4 in debris that hits you as, on the, as, as well. So that is eight damage. That's a... Uh, okay, total of eight? Yes. Okay. Whew. It's all right. I still have 11 stamina points and 27 hit points to go. All right. One, uh, <laughs> Boulder comes down at Ozzy. 
and another one comes down at Sivian, but since he's on the ground, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be I'm never going to dodge this. My athletics is two, or my acrobatics is two. <laughs> you need to roll ten. Can't see. It. Eleven. You made it. Oh, Ooh. sweet. Well done. Well done. I'll take that. Look out below. <laughs> Did I, miss that? I really didn't think that was going to work. Uh, all right. Uh, Josh, I, I ghost gets back in the order and rolls <laughs> a natural two this time. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I didn't spend my waste time trying to help you. Go <laughs> <laughs> trigger. Yep. Puts it at a nine. Not going to help me. <laughs> Dude, you're getting all the bad rolls out now. Yeah, exactly. And I'm training. <laughs> I maxed out athletics for training points, too. Jeez. Trigger rolls an 18. Trigger advances. Now we're talking. You can Ozzy. do it, Trigger. Seventeen, I advance. Even on a six, that's You've got a plus eleven. I got plus eleven. That's awesome. I love it. Wow. Well, okay, I am the strength guy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I'm giving I you a chance this time. Around. I am the one trick pony. This is my one trick. <laughs> <laughs> He's a beast. I should have hung on to your leg. <laughs> right. Uh, now let's kind of what you have to say. Together, or? Uh, I would have healed Sivion, but my. Uh, power only does it from a creature attack, mm. not from just taking damage. Yep. Good to know. Weird. I got, I got cure and all that stuff, but I think I used it and I can't use it again. I'm climbing up. Don't worry. I got this. Eleven. <laughs> you don't fall and hurt yourself. <laughs> I at least if you want to use your jump jets. I have. I was. Go ahead. What? I wanted to use my jump jets, but now you made it sound like it wasn't mine. No, it's okay. And I haven't been sitting on this for five minutes. <laughs> okay. Um, I'd like to use my jump jets to try to see if I can grab Ozzy's rope. How original. It goes the other way. They're, 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 they're meant to go up, not kind of laterally and fly. They're... No, no, no. Like, isn't there a rope that's like, because Ghost untied himself. So isn't there a section of the rope that's hanging down? Yes. I want to grab it. I, I was just going to give you a plus five on your check to climb. But if you want to grab the rope, you should, let us, the rope. you should let us don't, don't pull me down, because when I get to the top, I'm going to be able to lower the rope and just pull everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to roll first so that mm -hmm. I make sure I do grab the rope. So you're running, for, you're grabbing for the rope? Yes. Okay. What? Okay. I get bonuses. I'm going to give you I a... can't roll. I, I'm going <laughs> to give you a... What'd you roll? Fifteen. You successfully grab the rope. Ozzy, I'm coming! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> she grabs the rope. If you think you're gonna fall, if you think you're going to fall, just let go. <laughs> <laughs> Sivian? Yeah, what is this help thing? How do we help people at uh, fifty percent something? Because I'm never gonna make this. <laughs> God. Well, let's uh, you made the first roll. You got up off the ground. Yeah, I yeah made the first roll. The last roll I'll make tonight. But... <laughs> wow. Three hours later. Um, as as Ozzy gets closer to the top, you hear some scrambling and um, no boulders come this turn. Oh, nice. There's Max, by the way. Guys, I guess they must have left. I don't think they are there now. They ran out of boulders. Yeah, they're just going to get more boulders. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're going to the boulder store. They'll be right back. Right. Bigger boulders. <laughs> Ozzy, did you just want to make your check and get to the top? Uh, oh, I don't have to. Yeah, I'll do a check. Sorry. I don't know what the order is. Cause I... I'm, I'm letting you skip the order so we can just get through. All right. Do I have one more before I get to the top? Um. Oh, to make him fall. He's not going to fall. Um, if I get hit with a oh no, if there's no boulders, I probably won't yeah, there's fall. no boulders. I, I I think I think you're 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 high enough that you can scramble. You know, it's kind of like the man in black at the very top waiting for the rope to come down, but you manage to climb all the way up to the top. Now. <laughs> you have your rope. I at least see is hanging out for dear life. Okay, before I pull I at least see up, I look around and and look for threats. Uh, you don't see anything. Uh, there's a staircase that is not completely worn out. It's uh up and around the mountain. So they it's clear which way they went. 
Okay, I, then uh, I keep my eye on that staircase as I pull up by Elise. All right. Give me a uh, athletics check. DC. You know what? Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Too late. <laughs> 23 is going to be fine. I was going to give her an acrobatics check to to fail, to, to, fail to make it harder or easier for you. You know what I mean? If she's if she's gotcha. comfortable there, but your your twenty three is gonna negate any possible failure I, I present in front of you. <laughs> All right, I Lisi has made it to the top. I did. Yeah, he pulled you up. Oh, nice. All right, who's next? Trigger. Trigger. Yeah, he's next there. What? I'm gonna climb on my turn. You're gonna climb. Oh, I could do this. I didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> How far does the rope come down? Can we grab it on the bottom? I was going to say the rope was too... Everybody can grab the rope except for Ghost. <laughs> Being only three feet tall, he can't reach it. It's just two feet too short. <laughs> come on now, this is not fair. Ah, I almost had it that time. <laughs> All right, who's climbing up the rope next? Ozzy lays down on his belly, dangling the arms over the edge of the cliff to get the rope down the last few feet. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and go up. All right, give me an athletics check. I mean, an uh, acrobatics check. DC 10. <laughs> <laughs> you got him on. Uh, can can, can Ozzy just pull him up with brute strength? Just hang there like a, like a dead fish. Two plus three. <laughs> you, you just have a minus two to your check, Adam. To DC uh, 10. I, I, I have a five... Have Jesus, that's an I at least help me pull on this rope. I will help him pull on the rope. Okay, so it's only minus one. That's a <laughs> uh, you have to make a DC like ten F five, sure. Okay, it's a seventeen. You you're fine. Okay. Roll the nine. Yeah, I at least you couldn't I at least the rope slipped out I at least Because she's weak. I'm not weak, I'm just unathletic. Who's next? Now, you next, or ghost, or trigger, trigger, are you climbing, or are you going to grab the rope? I'm going to keep climbing. All right, so you give me your there's athletics enough, check. There's enough people on that rope already. <laughs> give me your athletics check, Mikey. Okay. Uh, 18. <sighs> trigger advances. Easily. He's one track from the top. He's making it look effortless. <laughs> uh, as he looks over it at, uh, at at Trigger and says, "Excuse me, I do not suppose you could have spit things up." <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. You can have that Benny back you spent last time. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll yeah, drop the that, rope for. I gotta be honest, that was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drop the rope for Naala next. All right, Naala, no, actually, uh, Naala, pick pick go pick Ghost up and put him on the rope. <laughs> Help him grab the rope. Stop Are you my boost? I am a fully crown, crown, Yosoki. Stop it! I can get it. <laughs> okay, give me a push. Bring me up higher. I can't. I can't get higher, Nala. Higher. <laughs> roll, roll one of the boulders over so we can stand on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's the athletics check from Ghost. Looks like a twelve. Uh, yeah. Not enough. It's uh, acrobatics. You too. Oh, it's acrobatics. acrobatics. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, that's a little. That's a little better. Uh, how about a twenty-eight? That's fine. Okay. As he starts to pull on the rope, and all of a sudden, ghost is right there, or triggers right there, or whichever one he is. What took you so long? <laughs> oh crap! Trigger gets off the rope, draws his weapon, and, uh, and is that begins. a work? Oh crap! Yes. Cross right. dock DD two C drive space is critical. Ah, let me do that. Yeah, there's 40 gig free, but thank you. Yeah, it probably just needs to have the uh, the what you call it uh, shrunk. Thank you. The log file. The flux capacitor. You better than me. You know how to do that better than I do, so that's fine. All right, you make your check, Adam. Make your uh, athletics check to pull Ghost up because he's lighter. It's only a DC 10. I can't fail that. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you should pull harder, lizard man. Get me up there. There you go. You look like Andre the Giant pulling him up. <laughs> you look like Legolas throwing, uh, what, uh, not Legolas, what's-his-face throwing the uh, dwarf. Ghost me. Yeah. 
Ghost pats him on the calf. Good job there, soldier. Uh, Nala, what do you got? You gonna what are you doing with your plan? Go, right, ghost to reaches out to pat me on the calf. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'll give me your acrobatics check. <laughs> uh, all five of my d20 rolls, I could have gotten on a d8 if I rolled. Ouch. The d8 <laughs> this far. Uh, but acrobatics, I got a 14. All right, so you do not hinder his in pulling you up. Go ahead, uh, Adam, give me your DC, your DC 15. All right, and trigger. Do yeah, you climb it yourself or take the rope for the last part? Um, is everybody else up? Yeah, everybody else made it to the top. Okay, then I'll grab. I'll grab the rope. Now. All right, you don't, uh, you, you don't want to try that one last, and uh, I'll throw you the rope. <laughs> Go ahead, Mikey. Try it. Try it. Try it. Just try it. It doesn't count. Just try it. It doesn't count. <laughs> doesn't count until he rolls terribly, and you say, "Ha ha, suck for you." Natural seventeen. We're good. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Hey, that was a good team building exercise, no? <laughs> well, some of us got some exercise. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for these little tiny arms I have, I probably could have done it. They get in the way. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, Josh, that log file is only five gig. The database really is that, or has five gig of free space. The database is really that big. Well, I. There's literally nothing we can do. There's literally nothing we can do. All right. Um, I, built, I built a two and a half gig uh, Excel file today. I can't even fathom that. It, take, Adam, it, take, it takes 20 minutes to open. Oh my God. Wow. Adam, can you send um, Adesso an email quick and just say, listen, this is the situation. You need to purge now. Okay. Please. Thank you. Yeah, and that's all the database has zero free space. It's yeah. not even. <laughs> the hell's he been putting in there? Documents. All right, if you guys from the bottom of the screen here, you can see the screen coming up. Oh, hey. Yeah. Let me see your screen for a second. Wow, I actually did it good. That's cool. It's like we're on the lip of a chasm or the lip of a cliff. Yeah, the, the bottom of the map is the, is the cliff you climbed up. And then on your left is is, a, is the structure that you're the, the temple that we're not allowed to see. You're not allowed to see inside, correct? Because there are bad guys in there. We don't know what's in there. We don't know what's in there. In there. If he's hiding it, that means there are bad guys. So it could be traps. Uh, so I'm I'm just a little confused. Are those like stairs? To, like yes. to the left is where we climbed up from, or yes? Okay, gotcha. You're heading to the right. And we're heading to the right. Okay, that's perfect. Where and did the cultists go? They ran up to the right. You can see their footprints. Actually, give me a perception or survival check. 16. You can see their footprints. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeff can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll bet you Siv if Sivian rolled, he would be able to see them very well. <laughs> in his dreams later that night. All right. What do you guys got for marching order? That's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, at the top here, there is... Um, everybody give me a life sciences or a culture check. Oh, those are my two. Those are my jam. Oh. I don't know what that is. Mm. Those are your jam. Yeah, um, but I, I rolled a natural one. It's okay, 20. you see. I have 11. The one thing that's your jam. <laughs> <clears throat> it hit the mic. Now I got a 20. Let All me right. show you how to roll a life sciences roll there, Jules. Natural one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Jules. I just wanted you to feel better. <laughs> Uh, 20, 26. Oh, there you go. Leave it to the mechanic. This is supposed to be my purpose. Well, you didn't roll it well enough to be your purpose. <laughs> All right. At the top, you find a, um, a, a large animal carcass. And uh, looking at it, both uh, Nala and Trigger are able to identify it as a mountain eel. And if you... Uh, 
An eel? What, why are there eels in the mountains? It is mountains? a mountain eel, and it's flesh, it's leather, can be worked into, into items. Hmm. Yes. Ghost. Ghost, we, we should we should somehow carry this eel with us. So <laughs> Put it in your cheek pouch. So he, the, here's what you can make out of it. You can all see them, I assume? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, so here's what you can make out of that. One of the three. You can make um, three sets of gloves, two jackets, or one set of boots, because the boots require the finest hide, and there isn't that much hide because the pulses have damaged so much. If we make it, if we make like the pair of gloves and we sell them, would the price, would we be, be able to sell them for 250 No. 25 been used. Jules, read what a resilient jacket does. It's really good. Oh, well. Way better than the gloves. As a reaction, well, once I was per day, just looking at the gloves because they were first. You can yeah, no, I mean, we can build two jackets. We should build two jackets. But what do the boots do if those are twice the level? Just curious. Ignore, Ignore difficult terrain in hilly or mountainous environments. And, and move up to your speed through other creatures, as long as those creatures aren't larger than you are. And each creature takes 2d6 plus 4 bludgeoning damage. That's interesting. Wow. It's a tough... It's, it's, I mean, I mean it intentionally a tough choice. Then why'd you put the gloves in there? That wasn't part of it. Because I just cooked up. <clears throat> Those might be nice for uh, Adam. Agree. E either Adam, or either Ozzy, or if you have a super fast party member who just runs through people, you could... Like, uh, nobody in this party? Like, well, yeah, we don't have anybody. Yeah, but they, they, they're larger than you, Bob. Aren't you considered a small? Oh, good yeah. point, good point. That would not yeah, work yeah, for yeah. me. No, Adam would be the one. The, 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 the Im implication is that you're trampling on them. <laughs> yeah, good point, I, I good point. I don't see ghosts trampling on anybody. You'd be no. getting trampled. Whoa, 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 I get, I'm the minute. one who gets trampled. Hold on, ghost, go, ghost. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw Ozzy. I saw ghosts trampling on 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 on, on an anthill. Um, just 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 before, we, just before we got to the mountain to climb up it. That these two. Once, once, once he climbed to the top of the anthill, you mean? Yes, yes. It took him. It took him an extra um, DC check to get to the top of that. Anthill. It was. I am not a. I am not a merciful god. The ant did not survive. I crushed them. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so looking at this, I think the jacket might be useful, yeah. but the boots are very tempting in the hands of Adam. There's enough to get two jackets out of it. You you, you can't get the jacket now. You can um, craft it on the ship because yep. you're gonna have. To... I'll have the goblins do it. Well, let's let's grab the skin and then we can make our decision later when we have time. So you're you're able to uh, successfully remove the hide, the parts that are worth it. Um, pack those away. Cool. There, there's several bulk, but you're able to distribute everything. Good thing you guys have all those survival knives. <clears throat> it's a large animal. It's a four, it's four square animal. I, I briefly considered having it pop out of holes in the mountain when you were climbing to attack you, but instead I went this route. <laughs> yeah, this one's better. <laughs> I'm okay with this. <laughs> Well, you, you got it looks your... like the cult is destroying everything in their path. It does some good. Mm. <laughs> you know. Also, just metaing again, I think Josh probably had to make a decision. If he damages us that much, will we survive the next encounter? And he must have decided we needed our hit points. So it's got to be a tough fight coming up. That's what no, I'm it was it was more along the lines of I didn't want to drag out. I like the idea of the climb. Oh, okay. It didn't quite work out as well as I had expected. I, it was kind of funny for you guys. Um, I didn't just because we all climbed the rope. But... I didn't say the DC is quite right, I think. But um, I didn't want to prolong that as a, you know, trying to fight something and climb and deal with everything else. So Seems my dice are still true to form. A natural one and a natural two. I was not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow you didn't get everybody else killed. Uh, that's a plus. Yeah, that's a good point. You're getting better, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> The you, the, uh, the path come, comes around the the outside of the right hand side of the map. Can you give me the marching order? Can you guys put yourself in the marching order there? I'm gonna get a couple ice cubes and the pretzel rods. Oh, that's dangerous. Find a find, Ozzy. Yeah, I'm gonna be right behind you, Ozzy. I think I think that's a good spot for Ghost right now. Yeah. You guys, you guys can drag yourself anywhere. Put it on the right hand side of the map. 
Oh, so we're going all the way to the right-hand side. So, Ozzy, do you think something like uh, this, maybe? And then... As long as I'm in front. Yep, agree. Stay within 30 feet of Nala, because then she can heal us. And then I would like to not be in the back, which is where I am right now. Okay. I don't, I don't care where I am. We might as well single file here, because that's what we're going to have to do to get through this oh. next section anyway. All right. You know, the next three squares. So something like this, maybe? And actually, you may want to have me, like, you know, a, have a gap between me and whoever's next. Agree. We could space all of ourselves out, just in case. Mm hmm Get your order done? Yep. Nazi leads, go second. Nala, third. Uh, also, Elise, uh, fourth. Vinegar. Sivian, and then Trigger. The salt and vinegar. Trigger, one downside to this. Your scatter gun only has a range of 15 feet. No, no, that's okay. My scatter gun will shoot the bug in front of me. Oh, okay. All right, then. All right. I did not think about that. I don't know why there's a bug. Why, 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 why do we have a bug in front of me? Frankly, to be honest, I did not think he would survive this long in, in our travels anyway. Uh, <laughs> These arms? What are those things? Uh, useless. Totally useless. I think. <laughs> Chris, if you're talking, Chris, we can't hear you. I don't know if you're on mute. But if you were just making faces, then then never mind. You're doing a perfect job. <laughs> Wait, can you hear me now? Yeah, now we can. Now we hear you. How the hell did it turn to mute? I didn't even touch it. Oh, boy. Oh, man, I'm losing it. Really? We were doing so good. I think what? So, All right. Little bug man, what are those little tiny arms for? Anyways. <laughs> Do you hold a little uh, tiny gun with those little tiny arms? They're for like, uh, reproduction. That is disgusting. We do not need to hear that right now. We do slap. We do slap fights and tickle fights with them. All right. Well, <laughs> that is a disturbing image. Hey, come on, Henry's pretty cute. <laughs> Both cats waved earlier. Nobody said anything. Oh. I saw oh, I one of the cats. <laughs> Alright. You are uh, both gone now. As you advance up the the right side of the structure. Do you guys put Ozzy first? I thought you put uh, Ghost first. No. No. <laughs> Ghost wanted to go first and I just I grabbed him by his head and put him behind me. They're both first because he's in his legs. <laughs> Alright. Do you guys recall oh. uh, spells in Starfinder? Do they recharge only when you sleep or after a 10 minute rest? Sleep. Okay. That's bad. That right, means, I just put you on. That means Sivian is out of spells for the foreseeable future. So am I. I wonder if we should <laughs> camp for a night and then go on. Take a sleep. <clears throat> All right. As you as you make as you crest the uh, the top of the the steps there, you see um, uh, an, 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 um, an individual uh, the exact here, standing imperiously on a promontory partway up that mountainside is a temple of elegantly sculpted stone with a single do dome tower rising from its center. The expanses of the structure's weathered exterior bear scores of tall glass paned windows that cause the facade to shimmer in the sunlight. You find you climb the stairs, and uh, you've entered a large the large area there. A series of weathered pillars arc around the entrance, temple, marking a curved border around a small plaza. And centered within there, you see. I have a, I have a picture. Cat. Oh, now he's waving his little paws. <laughs> Did you guys see the tigers in the Bronx Zoo caught COVID? That's crazy. No. I gotta stop kissing them on the lips. <laughs> see that better now? And the 
guy in the middle of, of the uh, symbols there. Is he a cultist? No, he's not a cultist. Oh, that's bad. He is. Uh, he looks like a, a almost a mummified elf, oh. wearing ancient armor and fire. And a fireish weapon. Oh. He's a cult of personality. Are his eyes glowing like that as well? Somewhat. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, does this does this guy look like he might be um, undead? It, he he looks somewhat mummified, perhaps. Can I do a mysticism check, possibly, or something? You could. Uh, anybody? What could. kind of check is it? Would it be mysticism, or yeah. would it be life signs to see if there's mysticism. life? What is it? I know you told me to put a bunch of points. Seventeen. Better than me. I only got a ten. Chris, Who he's on our team. Hold on. Oh, the mystic. The mystic. Wow. It's what I do. All right. So the two of you. Twenty-three. Hmm. Sivian and and uh, I talk about it a little bit, and they're like, "That guy looks like he's hundreds of years old." But he's also, I mean, he's an elf, but he doesn't look like he's an alive elf. Well, what's the average lifespan of an elf? I don't know, but he's, he's too old to be that. He's, his armor is recognized as, as being old. So kind of like Betty Davis. Yes. Got it. <laughs> Do you mean Betty White? Oh, darn it. Betty White. I missed the joke. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Betty White is older than sliced bread. I think Betty White is older than this undead creature, possibly. Yeah. So he turns to he turns to you, and he says, "Halt! I am Penelier, Sun Spear of the Inscrutable. It is my duty to guard this place against those who would despoil or misuse my people's discoveries." You let the cultists in? Good question. Yes, that is a good question. Will you answer that? What do you mean, the Lashantas that just came through? Yes, the evil yeah. cultists. The, uh... The, the... I'm trying to find the right... Um, I have been compelled by a control undead spell to answer to the... Uh, to the leader of the, of the band that just came through. Oh, we're with them. No, you are not. I have directions <laughs> to not allow you to enter. Oh, well, that sucks. thought that would work. <clears throat> How do you plan Anybody on preventing us from entering? What, Chris? What? I didn't say anything. Oh, I, 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 uh, uh, Ozzy asked, how, how, do you how, do you on how do you plan on preventing How do you plan on preventing us from entering? I will fight you if I must. You don't want to do that. But I will not allow you. I can. I cannot allow you to enter. Well, we just want to get the bad guys out of there. Dare I say, you and what army? <laughs> if you feel so confident in your abilities, try me in combat, lizard man. Well, as he's just going to walk, he's not going to attack. He's just going to try to walk through. He, he, he gets in your way. I well, I push. I, I you know I do the like chest bump thing to try and push past him. Like, I'm we not raising my. I'm not pushing him. I'm just walking like he's not there, trying to walk roll right through. Roll initiative. <laughs> you, you can bet you can roll initiative. <laughs> I'm gonna it's swing clear, my arms. I think I was under compulsion spell. We weren't gonna talk our way into this. Right? I'm gonna swing Ooh. my arms and walk forward. And if they hit him, they hit him. Like Conor McGregor. <laughs> Listen, you, 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 but you, you make sure that that left hand swings right between his legs. <laughs> Although if he's undead, he may not. I, I am going to move you guys in closer. Uh, Can you uh, bring us? You have to me? show us the page again. We're still on the uh, image. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're still on. There you go. We'll call it somewhere around here. Not to make it too unfair. He uh, holds out his hand, and that giant spear—he had no—he did not have this. Oh! Lights up, 
and you recognize um, him as a Solarian. And yes, I did actually read the section on Solarians today, so I can actually play him. <laughs> I remember reading up on Solarians once, and I remember going, "Wow, this is complicated." <laughs> yep. I thought I have no idea what they actually can do. I seem to recall. Not interested in playing him. They can put out a ton of damage. That's what I remember. And I thought there were more utility than that, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> and you can see his name now. Look, I did the tutorial and learned stuff. Oh, now we, now our bad guys have names. That's great. Yeah. That's on your achievement. Oh, <laughs> he was getting an achievement, of course. <laughs> uh, Josh, you might need to add people to the initiative order. Yeah, we can't add ourselves. Well, you we'll can if you click on yourself and then roll initiative, but you, then it would undo whatever initiative you already rolled. Uh, we would also have to roll initiative. Have a way to roll initiative. I mean, I'd be okay with undoing my initiative because it was a five, but I don't want to cheat. Okay, Ghost rolled an eighteen. You guys can type your own. Uh, Ghost, can, you guys can type your own, and I gotta roll this. Uh, Nala, what'd you get? Twenty-one. Oh, great roll. Okay. And Sivian, what did you get? Six. Ouch. And Trigger, what did you get? Sivian uh, rolled a six, but he's still not yeah, going. Twenty-two. Yep. Thanks. Got it. Nice roll. Thank you. All right. Oh, we have a tie between Ghost and Penelier, but I have a plus four bonus to deck. He has a plus three. Aha! All right. So, all right. All right. This triggers up. Um. Trigger is going to start. Say again. Are we trigger. waiting for me? I had a run. Sorry. Oh, it's trigger. Go ahead, Mike. And then he is going to. Um, he's gonna. He's gonna attempt to shoot him with his scatter gun. And see what kind of damage that does. You're within 15 feet. Yep. All right. The square is five feet, Josh, presumably. Yes. So 17, 18, 18. 20, 21 against uh, whatever. 21 against KC is a hit. Go on. Hmm. Oh. Draw back, draw back to guns that use a D4. They're hard to pick up. <laughs> uh, three points of damage? Piercing. Right. Piercing. Okay. Lala. Let us all focus against him. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Hey, guys, it wasn't me. <laughs> and Ten is a miss. All right, ghost. Everybody gets plus one now, though. That's helpful. Uh, what do we know? Of, can I do a culture check or something? Is there? What do I know about Solarians? Like uh, their common attacks or anything like that? Uh, I don't know what you know. <laughs> what What does Bob know? Uh, which triggers intelligence? Which ghost intelligence? Ghost is a pretty smart rat. His intelligence is uh, nineteen. So what you know he knows? I don't remember anything. <laughs> that sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, you, you know that they, you you know that they harness the power of the stars. Okay. And you can actually see he's begun to glow. Oh, he's How do we turn off the stars? <laughs> huh. That its weapon is a is a, is not actually a physical weapon that you can take away. It is a extension of his bond with the universe. I think they do some sort of blast, but I don't remember. I don't remember. All right. Uh, well, I guess we'll do a trick attack on him. You gonna move in then? Uh, no, I could do it from right here. No need to move in. Uh, 
Oh, Josh, I can't seem to select my guy again, which is fine. I can do the old fashioned way. I can't edit you either, which is weird. Uh, different layer, maybe? No, no, I, I'm. Like, I, I right click and I can't edit. Okay, so is he CR 10 or less? Yes. Okay, then it's uh, three. The, Jesus. The trick attack worked. Then the blast. That's a lot of dice. I don't know what that was. <laughs> let's just make sure that the behind the scenes is working. Yeah, the behind the scenes is working. Uh, rolled a 21 against EAC. 21 against EAC is a hit. For four points of fire damage. Alrighty. Oh, wait. Uh, it's also... Say it's got the disruptive... Uh, fusion. What is Which that? means? Uh, looking it up right now. Apologies. Disruptive. Uh, imbues a weapon with powerful positive energy designed to disrupt magical forces that allow undead to exist. The weapon ignores any DR and energy resistance of undead creatures. Oh, wait a minute. Only weapons that deal bludgeoning damage can benefit from this fusion. So this is wasted on a blasting weapon. So if anybody has a bludgeoning weapon, then I'll give Why it do they you. have it on a longsword? <laughs> no, no, the longsword is defiant. Defiant. Oh, that's right. It helps you with disarming. So never mind. Never mind. There's no benefit against undead here. All right. So he uh, he enters photon attunement mode. He begins to glow. And was that bad? This is bad. And hold on, I had to look up this power. Uh, where did he go? Uh, all right. He steps over to be next to Ghost. I mean, the trigger. And the, the a, a, a burst of chronal energy expands out of him, doing 2d6 to, to Ghost. Oof. I mean, the trigger. Sorry, the trigger. Trigger, you can save for half. Roll well, trigger. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I misread the power. Um, I, I'm in, in, enveloped in fiery plasma. If you hit me, you take the damage. So I'm not going to move over there. Oh, it's like, a, it's like a shield that if somebody hits, they did. Is it ranged? Will damage you as well? Or just With a natural or melee weapon. Okay. So not a, not a pistol. Correct. Got it. I wonder how that, like, what about reach if I hit? Okay. Well, yeah, okay. I'm just thinking about how a reach weapon would work, but if it's only on hit, then it makes sense. Right. That it would affect reach weapons as well. Traveling um, through your weapon and electrocuting you, sort of, I guess? Something like that, yeah. And he advances, uh, he is going to move, though. Uh, he's going to advance on Ozzy. The Corona was his uh, his turn, though. Then, um, if he's going to advance to right next to me, then I get to make an opportunity attack. Because he's leaving a threatened square, like, I can, to move my character, like, the square's two squares away are threatened, so when he gets right next to me, I can hit him because he left a threatened. Do you want to put him, like, one square away, and then he can take no, off towards me next turn? I'm okay. going to put him on ghost, then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I at least you're up. One second. Sure, yeah. I'm gonna use. Is he still on fire? He, the, the glow does not turn off, no. If you hit him with a melee weapon, if you hit him with like a sword or a stick or something, if you're gonna shoot him, is that gonna I'm not you? gonna shoot him. I'm gonna use my energy ray. Okay. Which deals um, 1d3 acid, cold, electricity, or fire damage, and I'm going to go with cold because I want to make him not be on fire. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I only rolled a one. <laughs> he completely shuts off the... I am born of the death. Cold cannot hurt me. Well, you know what? It's a cantrip. I'm just gonna keep doing it. 
Sivian, you're up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, try to shoot him, which is not gonna work with my pistol. <laughs> that lens pistol does a nice one d eight. He's gonna roll better than nine, though. <laughs> You rolled max damage too. Ah. Dude, you gotta roll. Oh, well. You rolled a four. You rolled a four. <laughs> no, I don't think you rolled. You and Jeff haven't rolled better than a D eight all night. Um, all in a couple of weeks. Oh, oh, actually, you did climb a little, so you did succeed there. Uh, Ozzy, you are up. Oh, I got All right. Can you get in flanking with me, uh, Ozzy? Oh, That's oh, what okay. I'm thinking. There we're talking. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do a fight defensively, which puts me at a minus four, but with the flanking, it's effectively a minus two. So, uh, Jesus. Whoa. Eleven versus, uh, KAC? <laughs> yes, you, you, your, your tack lash bounces off ineffectively against his armor. Wait, you get a plus one uh, because he's got uh, right, get, him. get him. Does that? Happen? I don't think that's going to make a difference. <laughs> it's not going to matter. As I said, a twelve. And does flanking give you a bonus to attack roll? Uh, I already added that in. I'm I'm doing it this at a minus four because I'm going to get plus two to AC. Okay. Can you take him? Out? So yeah, that's that's my turn. All right, top of the order, trigger. You are up. But the good news is I didn't take any reflective damage. No, you didn't. Oh, because you missed. Right. Hmm. So, Trigger needs to move over here. You can move your guy? I can't move my guy. I, I don't This is like the first time I can move him, so I don't know what's going on. Well, Bob, you're not on the arrow yet. Oh, you're okay. on the... Ah, all right, very good. Um, well, now I won't shoot Ozzy. Oh no, wait, Ozzy's in my cone. Damn it, Ozzy! <laughs> uh, don't you have any like weapons that that aren't you know blast? Don't you? Yeah. I thought you had like sixty-seven weapons. I, I yeah, I, I got. I'll pull. I use one of my other weapons. Unless uh, trigger, if you want to delay, I can step back and That's then good. open up a space for you to blast as soon as I step backwards. No, no. That's right, the other weapons do more damage. I'll okay. go What are you using? Uh, I'm going to use my um, laser rifle. My rifle with laser beams. Um, 19 plus... 19, 20, 21? 23. 23 is a hit. Okay. Nice roll. Um, unlike I least trying to freeze him, I'm going to eat him up. Jeff, whatever you're doing that's making noise, just don't. Because it makes it impossible to hear anybody else. Stop moving. Nine, or points, of da nine points of fire damage. <coughs> All right. All right. His uh, all is up. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time, but hopefully I roll more than a five. Gets him! Everyone, focus on him! Who else are we going to focus on? Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> 19. Against? The e guy. E or CAC or KAC? It's the really lens pistol. So it's a... Uh, EAC. 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 Yes, EAC is a hit. Woohoo! Five damage. Whoa, you rolled max, huh? Nope, it's one DA I got now. Alright, uh, Ghost. If I shoot with my pistol, he gets a opportunity attack on me. Uh, if I step away, then... Ozzy loses his plus two for flanking. So I am going to delay just long enough for Ozzy. And then I think after he takes his... Does you that... move in the initiative order if you delay. I know, I know. 
That's okay. I'll, I'll, I think I'll be alright without flanking. Yeah? I'm gonna take a guarded step back. There's my move action. And then just a standard azimuth blast, no trick attack. Alright. I don't know why it shows all those. Uh, it is uh, 13 plus, yeah, that's right, 20 against EAC. There's a hit. For four fire damage. Come on. Yeah. You're going to do fire damage to a guy that's on fire? It seems well, he's not dead. Your cold damage did nothing. It seems it's because I only rolled one point. Does the fire seem to be hurting him at all? Did it actually do no damage, or did it do one point of damage? It did one point of damage. Oh, okay. I thought he was completely immune to it. That's... He took no damage from your cold. Oh, really? Did he really? appear? Did he appear to take any damage from the fire? Yes, he did. Okay. Oh, okay. I lost your fire. Uh, and before he finishes his turn, he will say, You know we have to go save the universe from a terrible weapon, so we are going to kill you. Is there any information you can give us before we kill you? <laughs> Had you spoke before we fought, I would be more inclined. And he stabs at uh, Ozzy. I, I... <clears throat> Told you we gotta be nicer to people. Four plus mm. 16 is 20. Whoa. Uh, that's a miss. That is a huge plus to hit. Oh my goodness. Yeah, his damage is great too. But he's never gonna get the hit, you guys. Go ahead. Uh, at least he's up. He, he glows brighter. No, that's... I, don't, I don't like that. It just means he's going to hurt me more when I hit him. I think that's going to be like an explosion kind of thing. I don't think it's just going to be you. <laughs> Listen, everybody can back away now. Also, anybody who's firing at him now, I forgot, uh, gets a plus one uh, from me because of... Uh... Coordinated attack. <laughs> yes, thank you. Coordinated shot. Thank you. Forgot about so it's that. So total, it's a total of plus two with, with uh, Elise's bonus? Not at least he with Nala. Uh, Nala. Nala. Nala's bonus, so it's plus two. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember what Jeff's bonus is. Get him. <laughs> it's get him. Get him. Plus one for get him. All right, at least he. I'm gonna use my energy ray again because I'm all out of level spells, and that's a cantrip. Okay. Do I have to roll? I didn't roll last time. Just don't or make it cold. Choose a different weapon type. Choose does a different... it? Does it automatically hit jewels? I don't know why. What is? What does it say? What do you want me to s What's it called? Energy Ray. When you cast the spell, choose Acid, Cold, Energy, or Fire. It gets that descriptor. You fire a ray yeah. at the target. You must make a ranged attack against its EAC. Then if you hit, you do the 1d3 of your chosen energy type. Before you do this, recognize that your, your gun does more damage for the same attack roll. If you're going to choose fire, it's you're better off you just shoot it. Oh, yeah, and I'll just shoot it. With my azimuth laser. Pew, 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 pew! pew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why I missed before. That's right. Dang it. Oh, yeah. We've been hearing the whip. I rolled a 16. A 16 is a miss against it. Uh, you got a, did you add the plus two? And you add 18 plus and the plus two from them, which is a 20. And the plus one from get him. Yeah, plus one from it, so it's Plus nine. one from get him, plus one from coordinated shot. That is a hit. <laughs> what was your total? Actually, let's we'll check your total, Angel. Was... No, so I get a plus two or plus one from other party members. You get plus one from Adam and plus one from Jeff. Okay, then I get 20. Okay, that's a hit. Two. Bob, I've actually got the HP in the little red dot, in the little red circle. I just keep moving it down. Really? Yes, because I didn't realize you could type right in that circle. <laughs> That's awesome, Josh. Well done. Look at what I learned. I think it's it. I, 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 I'm so excited. Henry <laughs> <laughs> here. All right. Where are all of my guns? Sylvan, you're up. Sivian. All right. So, can I move and shoot at the same, or is it one or the other? You can move and shoot. Oh, good. All right. How far can I move away? You can move thirty feet. 
5, 10, 15, 20. <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> I'm just going far enough away where just in case he explodes or some craziness mm-hmm. like that, I'm not going to get maybe hurt. <laughs> yeah, you really guys probably should all max range, seriously. 25 and 30. Okay, that's good. That's now, actually I'm gonna a good idea. Him. I'm going to miss him with my pistol. Let's see. Maybe not. No, I'm going to miss him with my pistol. You're getting a plus two, Whoa. so. Whoa! That is a hit. You rolled a 19. You know how to hit stuff? With a 24. Hey, look at that! But. Then you rolled. Two? You rolled and minimal rolled damage. A... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a one for your damage, so you did two. <laughs> well, you know what? I did something this week, and I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I will actually write it down, too, so I don't forget. Chris did I, I deducted the damage that Chris did. Oh, don't forget to detract your uh, battery charges. I almost Yeah, I am. I, I got 14 now. All right, Ozzy. Oh, uh, Ozzy says, you know, uh, as I recall, you attacked us first. Perhaps, me. You know, is there anything you can do to prevent this universe from ending? You know, any information you can give us as my comrade. <laughs> as he prepares his whip to attack. I gotta bring the amp up. Before we kill you, that is what you're trying to say, right, soldier? Well, before we are forced to kill him. Eh, forced, not forced. You are forced. I am not so much. And this is just gonna be a regular attack. Okay. So, 17. It is a miss. Of Ooh. course it is. Oh, that damage would have been sweet. Hey, but you yeah. don't you don't take that two d six back blast damage though, so you got that going for you. That's it. true. This is actually working out. <laughs> <laughs> you keep them busy, and we chip away. Back to the top of the order. Back to the top of the order. All right, trigger. Um, let's see. Uh, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure you're still in range of your, your weapons. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this thing has a range of... Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That is a hit. Nice. Uh, eight points of damage. That's what are you rolling, Mikey? Uh, my laser rifle, one d eight fire damage. And that also that takes that gets your full um, because it's not a small arm, it gets your full level bonus to damage. Correct. Okay. Oh, All so right. he really rolled a five, and then his uh, proficiency adds plus three to that. Yeah. Gotcha. Sweet. All right, now is up. I'm going to shoot for... I'm not going to... Uh, you're a mile away. No, I'm right next to him. <laughs> no, you're a mile away. <laughs> you might want to either get to your computer or put your mic down in front of your face instead of up on top of your head. That's what he means. I was getting up people yelling at me because I was chewing. All right. Uh, Josh, what are these... <laughs> There's posts? a mute feature that you might want to take advantage of. <laughs> or or better yet, your own pillars. Talk. Those are pillars? They are pillars. They offer... Um, Half cover, so minus two. The hit for a range attack. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going there. After I attack first, hang on. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come back here for a second. I would I would go north so I wouldn't be get an opportunity attack. This isn't my first day. <laughs> just making sure. All right. I'm just making sure, Tyler. I mean, Jeff. Aye, aye. I guess I was, Josh was getting uh, excited there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got to play by the rules, man. Of course. That means we lose I, our our get him bonus. Yes, you lose get him if he moves. We do. Yep. That's okay, though. I got all excited right, and just make sure I we fumbled don't... with my pistol and missed poorly. Oh. Poorly? Okay. Uh, ghost. If you miss poorly, does that mean that you actually hit? <laughs> you, maybe. <laughs> uh, trick attack lets you move and shoot, so I'm going to do the trick attack, and then I'm going to fire first, and then I'll do the move action. So... 
Is his CR one or less? No. <laughs> okay, so the trick attack, uh, the sneak part of it fails. So it's just a regular attack with the pistol. All right. And that... You just feel like... Uh, 24 <laughs> against EAC, really 25 with coordinated attack. Yeah. Uh, four points of fire damage. And now... Can I say hi, Liz? Oh, good night, Liz. Sleep well. Bye. Bye. Five points, you said my... About four. Video. Four points. Four. Bye, Liz. Bye. And then... Good night. You, 40 feet. Do you, when you get Bye, up. Jules. Bye, Liz. <laughs> I have to... That's right, you have a... <laughs> did you just move, Bob? I did. I, I need to interrupt this game for something amazing that just happened. What happened? Everybody's video was gone in Roll20, and I hit the reconnect, and everybody's video came back. Good night, Liz. Hey. <laughs> everybody's video came back, except for Jeff's, who wasn't giving a video feed in the first place. <laughs> I felt like that was such a momentous occasion that everything worked after a reconnect that I had to say it. Welcome oh. back. Good night, Liz. Sleep well. Bye. Did you like the show? Didn't get to watch Parenthood. Wow. You couldn't find it anywhere. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, so trigger Ghost, uh, he is up. He turns and attacks. Uh, he. This is round three, so he's fully attuned. Uh, it makes you feel like this. he's going to explode. Man. No, he did the chrono the first turn. You should move away when it's your turn. Uh, so he'll attack Ozzy. I did the right thing. Oh, yeah. come on. I don't Two? think he'll hit with that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 2 plus 16 is 18. The dice are on our side. Tonight. Jesus. I mean, it's a miss, but he's got a plus 18, plus 16. Plus 16? Mm-hmm. He's, he's got a he's six. We are What's very that? lucky. You are very, very lucky. Gary, can I score? I'm going to call after this because you're going to laugh the next one. All right. At least he's up, but she's on her phone. I'm just gonna run away and shoot at it. Okay. Shoot at it, then run away. I shoot at it. I missed. I you wanna do away. the math? <laughs> 13. Okay, you missed. I run away. Like, move, your, move your character. You know, we're move just, your token. We are being superstitious. We really don't know what's gonna happen when we he really don't. charges up. He, he's glowing and glowing hotter. <laughs> Bye bye. There's probably going to be some sort of big blast, but who could say? Go. Yes. Do you remember? Do you remember when we were at the academy and 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 we did that experiment in the lab where it blew up? Was that the one where they took your arm off for two days just to see how it, it would affect your balance? Or yes, it did your arm. <laughs> this is gonna be worse, I think. Oh, you think so? I hope not. Oh, this looks bad. This looks bad. Although, hey, Trigger, do you think yeah. crispy lizard is very tasty? I, I think. <laughs> I wonder what we can make out of his. I don't know. Uh, but there was no get him, right? No get him. But it does get a plus one from me still. Eighteen is, is just a miss. Nineteen would have been a hit. Wow. All right. <laughs> on zero. Uh, you know, would have got him with eight damage too. That would have been I, huge. What? Ouch! I'm gonna go with a regular attack, I guess. Oh wait, I forgot to move. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna keep on moving? Are you gonna get? Yes. What, yeah. what did you shoot him with? My le my lens pistol. That was a one d eight. It's a one d eight. Yeah. Crap! I only got an eighteen. I should. I should. I should just roll for defense because I'm never oh, going to hit him anyway. How do I get it to? Once again, had uh, had get him in and effect you would have hit. Chris, uh, you're right now on the measuring Self? stick. Click on the arrow, the select move arrow, and then you can move your guy. But right now you're on the circle with the ruler. Oh. That's why. Sorry, guys. Five, Sorry. 10, 15, 20. That's all right. All right. As he went, trigger. You are up. You're out of the range of the scatter gun. But, oh yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, we we have switched to our Later we have switched rifle. to our rifle. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I guess I'm almost off the map. <laughs> oh, I can reveal some more area over there as well. You're 70 feet away. <laughs> that's right. I have a range of 120. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a long <laughs> arm. That's right. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna shoot him again, or we're gonna try to shoot him again. Uh, you don't have the angle to shoot him anymore, Chris. I know, <laughs> I I know. Um, natural twenty. That is a hit. Yeah. Don't forget that plus one, for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so twenty twenty five total then. Okay, so we roll that, and then we actually do. That's two d eight, right? Uh, plus uh, no, it, well, and. There's uh, no critical is a one d six additional burn. On this right, topic. so it's two d eight. Right, plus one d six burn. Plus one d six burn. And actually, just to clarify, the plus three that you get, that also gets doubled. So it'll be. Well, one yeah, unlike D and D, the statics do get doubled in this. Right. Oh, okay. So you'll do one d eight plus three plus one d eight plus three. Oh my god! I have to do math. Jules, wake up. Do math for me. <laughs> 2d8 plus 6. There no, I, I rolled it. Okay, so... Um, so, that's 10 plus 16 uh, plus 8 is 24. Uh, hang on. Did you add the 1d6? You can't skip that many. Well, so, I, pl oh, you want the one? You want the extra one d six burn separate? That is separate. Yeah, that's yes, that is separate. Okay. When you roll right, the burn um, damage critical, it doesn't get added to your immediate damage. You mark okay, that so number, 19, and at the start of their turn, they take that damage. Okay, so nineteen fire damage, and then on my one d six burn, five burn damage for the one d six. All right, and nineteen. Right. Because six plus five plus eight is nineteen. Yes, it's nineteen. All right, Nala. Uh, now I tell everybody, let's get them again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that's good that you said that because we weren't sure who we were attacking. <laughs> hmm. Twenty-two, six damage. There's a hit for damage. This guy must be like, why does she keep saying get him? I'm the only one here. Ghost. Uh, trick attack once again. Uh, let's try that again. Does he have a CR of seven or less? He does. Okay. Then here comes the azimuth pistol. And that is a, oh, natural 20. A natural twenty. Ah, Twenty-seven. Nice. It's hard to hard to see through all that. <laughs> yeah, which which one is a natural twenty? Because I see a twelve. Well, I I see I, an eight. I just hover over the twenty-seven in the chat window, and that's what tells me the actual uh, roll. I don't know why you get all fair. Those. Uh, oh, probably because it's a macro and there's other stuff going on there. Maybe I don't know. Uh, damage, yeah, I, I see the twenty natural twenty. So your damage you is uh one. Is that 6 plus 10? Is that interpreted as... Oh, okay, so it's 16. No, wait, that's not right. Oh, yeah, it, it looks is. Like, yeah, 16 plus a d4. Agree, it's 16 because of the uh, sneak attack damage. So, And sneak attack damage is uh, is tripled as well, or is doubled as well, so that's why it's 16. And then plus the 1d4. Uh, and the burn damage is uh, an extra 4. So that's and burn damage is cumulative, so now he's going to be taking nine at the start of his round. Wow. He, he dies at the start of his round only having eight. Mike's five and your four is nine. Whew. That is more than eight. Nice. Never gets to do his supernova. <sighs> oh darn. We what was in. the range? What was the range, might I ask, on his supernova? Ten feet. Oh, thank oh. God. Was... Oh, we were all doing pretty good then. Except for Ozzy. <laughs> Yeah, but that's part of the that's the gig. Oh wait, and what would the damage have been for the uh, supernova? It would have been it is one d six fire damage plus one d six fire damage per solarian level. Seeing that it is a CR six, 
I'm guessing that would have been 76. Whoa. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well, it's, that's weird. You, you literally missed that happening by, by two hit points, Adam. <sighs> wow. <laughs> if I had rolled two less on the burn damage uh, instead of maxing it, that would have done it, maybe. We and were, I don't think he... He didn't hit any of us. <laughs> we were very lucky. We were not super about lucky. That. <laughs> wow. That was very disappointing from an encounter standpoint for me. I wanted it to be a challenge, and it wasn't. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> well, since he didn't go nuclear, I would call that good for us. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go kick some cultist butt. All right, so you have the... Oh, language there, Jules. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you see the the door to the temple there ahead of you. Whoa, wait a minute. We didn't search the body? Oh, yeah. Magical armor? Oh, we're searching mm -hmm. the body. Solarian okay. weapon we can steal from him? There's a cred stick? No, there's not a cred stick. <laughs> no, the Solarian not weapon, actually, he needs credits. The Solarian weapon is an energy weapon that does melee, that does physical damage kind of thing. Well, well you said the melee, melee weapon was his, like, Solarian thing, right? I don't think that actually exists without him. Correct. The yeah. Solarian manifestation. Ooh. Yeah, but his armor might his armor still exists. He has ancient elven battle armor, archaic. Wow. That's old. And a leased gluon crystal. And a what? Leased L E A S T Gluon G L U O N crystal. Three yeah. words. There you go. Which means you probably look those up. <laughs> I'm on it. I'll tell you what it is in just a moment. Uh, Solarian Crystal, Least Gluon. Gluon crystals create an entropic field among the weapon that creates traumatic wounds. With a uh, Least, it does 1d4 extra damage. And when you do a critical, it does a wound. And then what happens is that if you, you roll a 1d20 when you roll a crit, and it depending on what you roll, it can really hurt them like if you roll a natural 20 then you target their brain and then uh they have a save otherwise you stun them for one round or for example if you rolled a 14 or a 15 you hit their leg and you severed a limb and now their speed is 10 less and if you roll 11 to 13 you take out an eye and then they lose an eye and their perception is minus two most hold on sever a leg they're still going to be able to move evidently but they're going to move slower <laughs> So this can do arms, legs, eyes, brain, or vital organ. A wounding. Oh, sorry. It's not a... Uh, oh, yeah, it is severed. Yep. So um, that's interesting. I guess you can apply it to a weapon. It costs around 3,900. It's level 6. It's a pretty powerful crystal. That's assuming we can use it in a non-Solarian weapon. That is a good point. We cannot? No. Well, that sucks. It has absolutely no value to you guys, is my guess. Well, we can sell it. Can we sell it for the uh, ten percent yes, of thirty? Sell for the value this time. So that's worth three ninety after the ten percent uh, reduction, or the ninety percent reduction. So that's not bad. Would a, would a mystic check come in handy on the ancient elven battle armor? No. I it, it's I mean, it's, it, it is what it is. I don't know. Yeah, they're anything else extra on it. Oh, it's elven. Got it. Well, it's crafted by elves, but it would fit a Lashanta or anybody else. Bob, what was the stat on that thing? So, I don't have anything on elven battle armor, except I have archaic. Archaic weapon... Oh, um... Archaic weapons do five fewer damage, unless the target is wearing no armor or archaic armor. So, this armor would not protect you against primitive weapons. Um... Oh, uh... I'm looking. Yeah, there's a uh, Reddit post about how there is no nothing, of, uh, like nobody can, they can't find anything about this armor. That's it doesn't actually exist. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm finding as well. And it's archaic, so it's old and and crappy. Agree. If we go back in time, this could be a good piece of armor to wear. But... Okay, so I'll say I'll say it has a thousand credit value. Okay. So we can try to lug it around to sell it for a hundred credits. Yes, if you're lucky. They say it's a plus six, plus six, probably. Yeah, and it's probably heavy. Six plus six. Yep, it's yeah, heavy. Probably so. 
so, so we just you know we can bury him with his yeah we're not gonna we don't need that shit that crap yeah. i mean he wasn't he was not your enemy oh well, until he crossed swords or tack lashes with us Whoops. well he was compelled <laughs> to do that He's got no more use for it, but neither do we. Uh, I have a use for it. I could use a hundred credits. Let's pick it up later. We could leave it here for now. Sounds great. Let's do... All right. That was so good, you... uh, Lizard Man. The way you, you just got in there and just kept on missing him and missing him. That was very good. Well done. It's okay. He that, missing him. That, that's what happens when two uh, master uh, fighters fight in battle. Yes, I remember very well. Do you remember that great fight between Master Fighters? They just fought each other, kept on missing for 15 rounds. It was very exciting. So exciting. They just kept on missing. Yes, yes. Have you ever seen a movie called Star Wars? Uh, I leave. <laughs> or, or, as it's called nowadays, just Wars. <laughs> <laughs> this is a... This is a documentary, no? Not a not a work of fiction. Correct. Yes, 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 I have. I think I have seen this on the reality TV channel. So you know that when the, when the masters fight, the, it ends in a single blow. That's, uh, well, we were working up to that. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to kill them uh, with more damage uh, as soon as possible, not waiting for the single blow. I can't complain about your tactics. They seem to have worked in our favor this time. Yeah, you did good too. Nice job. Whoa, you're losing your. You're losing. Whoa, your yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on before he can change his mind. All right. So there's two stone doors leading into the uh, temple. Where? Right there. Oh, right there. Sorry. Did you uh, did you direct it to us? Is uh. No, no, he didn't. Is that like this thing right here? Is that what you're talking about? No, to the right, to the right of that, Bob. Like here? There's, there you go. Oh, you're right supposed there. to see. You see those two tiny little slivers of a rectangle? We're supposed you to know, know that okay, those are the doors. So my, my, bad, my bad for not revealing enough. I've already mapped out how to reveal the inside because it's a real pain in the butt for me to do. No problem. So I can't highlight anything without losing the. Re <laughs> <laughs> so there are two stone doors that are closed. Um, obvious activity there. It does look like um, there was some effort to open them, crowbars or something. We're gonna look, listen, well, and feel. It looks like this should be easy to open again. Let us go. Let's open this thing. Come on, big guy. I'm not doing all the work here. Mm. Mm. He pushes ineffectively. <laughs> <laughs> A little help here. Come on. I almost As he it. comes over with one hand and just pushes the door open, hopefully. He goes door falls to the ground. I had that. He rubs the dirt off of himself. Ah, that was good. Oh, what? You loosened the hinges for him? I did. It was very difficult. Had not been opened in a long time. So my wife tells me about the pickle jar all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I loosened it for you. Like <laughs> From its floor to its curved ceiling 30 feet above, this entry hall is covered in sweeping arcs of constellations. Ooh, Marked crazy. with delicate lines and numbers at regular interval. Ooh. A series of short climbing pitons stick out of the ground near the center of the room, where embedded floor sides were pl placed to slash at the unwelcome. It's clear that the cult um, fell prey to this a little bit and then addressed the, the trap. So we have a spell. Better than us. Do you see those uh, pitons in the wall? It looks like they climbed up there, and it seems there are traps in here, no? Traps have been sprung and, and set now, so you're all been sprung and disabled. They found one trap, but where there is no, one trap, seven. there they are found seven. Two. They found two traps, but where there are two traps, there are three. Unless there's only two. But that never happens. There's actually a quote unquote series of climbing pitons embedded in the ground. So, several, not two, not one, not two. <laughs> when there are three Five. traps, that means there are four traps. I can play this game all day. So, the, tra the traps are clearly uh, disabled. Mm -hmm. No. You said there's numbers as well. What was that about numbers? I'm sorry. Uh, it the entry hall is covered in sweeping arcs of constellation 
marked with delicate lines and numbers at regular intervals. Do we recognize these constellations? Are they familiar? Um, give me a... Does anybody read Elvin? I believe I, I do. I thought we were told we didn't have to worry about languages. All right, so give me a physical science check. If you can read Elvin, give me a physical science. Don't you have comprehend uh, languages, uh, Ayalisi? Yeah, but that's a level one spell, and I used them all last session. Oh, understood. I know Elvin anyway, so it's fine. Nice. Uh, 17. Anybody else? Give me one second. I just want to see if I... I'm pretty sure I took Elvin because I we... Uh... You too, Elvin, Jeff. It's fine. Make a check. I, I don't have it. So. I rolled a 15. Yeah, you, you need a 15. So you and I, at least, you haven't grown up there. So you recognize that you have a constellation artistic. The curves, paths are scientifically precise, though, showing exact dates that the stars appeared in the sky and how they migrate through the year. In addition... There are two unknown constellations that are present. Uh, a jagged line of six stars in a perfect circle made up of 12 stars. Is it a circle? Or is it a whatever 12 star shape is called? Dodecahedron? It's a circle. <laughs> um, is that, you guys got a mysticism check? I got one of those. Ooh, this is good. 26. Anybody else? Yeah, did it do it? What all happened? Uh, hold on, roll. Oh, there's mine. <laughs> Chris's luck continues. <laughs> he still got it. I got the one. Chris got the 17. Oh. I should all right. Chris has a big six. Come on. Whoa, hey now. <laughs> oh, it took forever for Chris's roll to get here. Oh. He? Uh, ignore that 16 that I got because my first roll was the 9. It looks like there was a weird lag on the 3D die. Sorry about that. Yeah. Alright, so um, the mysticism check, it was scoring over 10, recognizes that the uh, line of jagged, six jagged stars is the god Ibra's holy symbol. And there's a curve related to that and rapids and coordinates that defy astronomic explanation. Um, Who's the god Ibra? Does anybody remember that offhand? Anybody who has mysticism can is more than welcome to look it up. How do you spell it? I B R A. Didn't he play Heimdall? Hmm. <laughs> Ibra the Inscrutable is the formless, inscrutable deity of the universe's infinite, distant cosmological mysteries. Oh, wow. Ibra's origins and properties are unknown. Not even the nature of their first races to worship it, and some theorize that Ibra itself is a manifestation of the cosmos. Its followers worship through appreciation of the cosmos and disregard all notions of moral alignment in place of simple questions about the patterns and properties of celestial bodies. Questions Ibra's followers must simply ask, as the answers themselves are immaterial. The patron saint of astronomers, astrophysics, cosmologists, mathematicians, and explorers. Mystics and Solarans like Ibra. All right. Well, we have no idea what the circle is. What? Father? Or, no, you don't. Know, it's 12 stars in a circle, which is something completely unnatural. I have no idea what it is. Is this like a zodiac sort of thing? Zodiac constellation? No. Or clock? Yeah, so. you can, I mean, if you want to make another Mrs. Anything to see if you guys, or a physical science show, anything else, you're welcome to do that. You, is there more information for us to... You'd have to make the check to find out. Tell me what that role is for. Uh, mysticism. Okay. 16. I'm sorry, not life science, physical science. Oh, sorry. That was my bad. 
I rolled 16 on mysticism. There was nothing else mystic mystically to find. 27 no. on physical science. No, on physical science. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. Hold on. Mm, 23. 23. You and Ghost, in a rare form of working together, mm. um, deduce that the coordinates associated with uh, the the six stars in the jagged line are not actually true coordinates, but rather encoded instructions for information on how to bypass something later on, maybe, or how to, how to traverse the star field later on. And you see off to the right, there's a small star field starting to reveal itself. On the floor? Or on the wall? Yes. Floor. Uh, Oops. Wrong button. Only the penitent must man may pass. There you go. Interesting. Okay. Just remember, in Hebrew, Jehovah starts with an I. <laughs> so this is a very temple of... Uh, Last Crusades, rather, type temple, still filled with traps. Excellent. So left or right? I say we go to the right, but we must be very careful. Don't you agree, Ailisi? Yeah, I think that um, Ozzy should definitely go first. <laughs> you don't sound very sure of what we're going to be, what we're doing here. We're exploring. It is. Uh... Can we be a little more specific? Uh, we're exploring the temple. <laughs> uh, lizard man, listen, if you go first, you need to follow this pattern. Walk on these uh, tiles. I don't know if those are tiles. or. I'm going to reveal it over here in a, in a second here. So, you see this star field on the floor, and you, you're, you're able to deduce that there's an way to get through based on the the, the uh, shape of that six feet of the six stars i will show you i will show you first i was about to say against his better judgment <laughs> uh, i do exactly what ghost tells me to do 10 foot pole right. here come on Patch. <laughs> now you must rub your tummy and pat your head <laughs> i least do not tell him just let him keep going now you must hop on one foot as well <laughs> oh, this is great you sound like rocket raccoon <laughs> <laughs> uh all right so uh ghost will try to traverse using uh trying to step on the following the pattern that he and i uh deduced all right you were you successfully traversed um, through the stars, the star storm trap, um, which would have dealt 5d6 damage had you not done a crap. Holy moly, you're not messing around. So, I imagine that puts us about up right there. Yeah, I'll reveal a little more now that you're over there. I'll go last, and Ghost and I will guide everybody through. Don't worry, Anna, I'm making sure to reveal the door better than Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this curved chamber in the middle is a bear for me. I thought you said you had everything pre-revealed, pre-set up. No, I do one section at a time. Remember, if we have to flee and you run this way, walk in the run in the pattern, and the bad guys will blow up behind you. Hey, you said they went in. All right, so you guys all made the uh, traversed the trap successfully. How how old do we think that this temple is? Thousands or like you know? Had, had you talked to, like to the other guy instead of insulting him, he would have told you. Hmm. But um, if you want to give me a physical sciences check, I will give you an estimate. Twenty-seven. That's better than my fifteen. Uh, based on the wear and tear of the temple, how old that guy's armor was, and so on and so forth, you're guessing at least a millennia, well, at least a thousand years. Wow. 
So that is kind of long. Just a little bit. All right. So here you have the uh, the, the back side of the. Um, similarly, P Town stuck to, to, to prevent size traps. Not a lot else going on here. A uh, big open space. Looks like they maybe had services of some type here. It was a temple. Um, so the most important in the temple is a high. It was foggy, discolored glass. The vantage point juts out over the cliff below, overlooking the stairs carved into the side of the settlement below. So where are the cultists? You haven't found them yet. That's not good. Ghost takes a look out the out the view, admires the view for a little bit. Give me a will save. All uh, of us? A what now? Oh boy. A will check. Let's see. All of us are just ghosts. Just ghosts. Gotta make sure he's not gonna throw himself off the cliff. It's so beautiful, it's I can't help but cry. Uh, I rolled a 13 on the will save. Yeah, okay, you're, you're, you're impressed, but you're not lost there. <laughs> this is beautiful. Is the door revealed over here? Can you see the door to the center, center, center sanctum? Uh, north? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay. Oh, yeah, that I worked very hard to reveal that for Adam. That's really cool. We it's can, very it's much appreciated. It totally Thank pops out now, yeah. <laughs> so do we go through the door? Hello. What is that, 40. Captain? You are very far away. Perhaps you could come closer into the sanctum. I was talking to Tyler, sorry. That's oh. why I was trying to be quiet. Hey, hey, Ty. Hey, Tyler. Hi, Ty. Let us see what is around the corner, and then we can go through the door. No? There you go. <laughs> Anything of interest There's there? There's another door. There's another door. There's something else on the floor here. Mm. Is there another star field? Or is it... it does not. You don't see stars, do you? <laughs> I was just confirming. Uh, we do a perception check. We're still looking for traps. Oh. Yeah, ghost, ghost got closer, so I'll show some more. 15 on perception. Hold on a second. Ooh. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty neat looking area. There's, uh, three, three, no, wrong, sorry, wrong. Well, sorry. Yeah, three wooden doors line the west wall of the gallery. The curving interior wall depicts the night sky and its stalks. Mm. I don't understand where the third, oh, the third door is much further north for saw. Uh, ghost listens there's a at table, the... There's a, that is a table in the middle there, Bob. There okay. does appear to be some equipment on it. Oh. Alright. Uh, perception check to look for traps, and then walks over to the table. Cultist equipment, or arcade equipment? Or something else? You have to go... See, it's a pile of stuff. What if I was standing right on the edge? Does it look like the cult has made it this far? Did we establish that? Yes, there's footprints all over the place. Mm -hmm. What if I stand right on the edge of this? Ghost goes and checks it out. What do we got? Oh, all the way open there. All right. I'll move everybody else over here because we'll pretend they're interested. I will I'm reveal interested. the rest of the area. All right. So you can see there's that one door to the north. Got it. To your south. Um, on the table is a series of explosives and detonators. Oh! That the uh, clearly the cult had been setting up or using. Mm. How many? Oh, how many oh, detonators oh. and how many explosives do we see? Uh, there are two detonators and three explosives. Um, Everybody give me a perception check. Good boy. Nine. That's that good. I know that. Fourteen. They're they're not like set up to go off, right? They're just kind of like extras put there. They're just chilling. Right? They're they're extras put there. 
That's a good assumption, Jeff. Extras, meaning some were already used, and these are the extra left over. Uh, 18. Anybody else? Oh, look at 20. Sheldon. I haven't seen his yet. <laughs> uh, 25. Whoo. All right. Mikey, did you roll a perception or no? You're on mute, Mike. You got a headache. Mr. Uh, Mike, you're on mute if you're talking. Sorry, I rolled a I rolled a nine, same as. And yes, Josh, I do have a headache. Oh, that sucks, <laughs> man. Sorry to hear it. That's all right. Thanks. Silva makes note that um, there appear to be several more detonators and explosives set to go off around the area you're in. Uh, little bug band, what do you mean they are set to go off? Uh, like, they're set to go off, as in they're gonna go boom-booms soon? What? Uh, you, you, you know enough about these that they're probably tied to a remote detonator, so... A button. Exactly. Can you, can you point us to them? I do not see them. With my little arms or the big arms, man? The big arms. I cannot see nothing with your tiny little arms. <laughs> Ghost, I can barely see you. Stop mocking me. I'm sorry. Did you say something? I could not hear you with that very high-pitched voice. I think only the dog people can hear you. <laughs> I think I, I think I think those arms are are definitely smaller than us. I at least I I don't know I I I don't know how you come up with. The... Ooh, <laughs> what, what, what are you thinking about? What what is in that little head of yours? Keys. Come on, Bugman, right now, on this table with the explosives. You and me, let us go, let us do arm wrestle. Come on, I will take my goggles and turn them backwards. Come on, let's go. I was just going to say, what are you guys going to do on that table? <laughs> uh, can, Nothing with the detonators and the explosives. Uh, can we uh, disarm those explosives? Yeah, you, you, you can go around and collect everything. We you are. end up with uh, three more detonators and five more five more explosives and three more detonators correct so bombs just ready to go off so is there an obvious direction that which door they went through or does it look like they went through all of them uh give me a perception check 17 10 oh natural 20 28 uh, you guys, you guys who've rolled well, over over a ten, over a twelve, over a twelve, um, can see definitely there's been uh, there's footprint where they've been. In. Um, oh, I keep forgetting I bumped my perception. It's Josh, can you repeat that one more time? Th those of you who rolled over twelve for your perception, no footprints all over. They've been in and out. Which ones look the freshest? I rolled a twelve. <laughs> yeah, so, sorry, Josh, you keep cutting out. I'm sorry. No, um, there's, there's, so there's the three doors. There's um, footprints activity around all three doors. They've all okay. been actively used. They've been in and out. Yes. Okay. So we go in the middle one first. Sounds good to me. I thought we'd do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> you know, guys, I think that we should split up. I think Excellent I idea. I, I think we should send Ailee <laughs> and Ailee down one of the corridors. <laughs> All right, entering the center door with with a detonator. I meant the center one of the altar, but that's or the uh, temple. But that's all right. Okay. Well, this one's already revealed, so that's the way we're going. <laughs> More doors. I I will make this easy. All of these rooms are a series of study rooms. There's just tables, desks, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, the this went through, didn't find anything of note, hence the, um, the fact that I had to go in and out. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, great. Let's go in the middle now and kill some. Adam, you're welcome for me speeding that up. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've ch I changed the camera focus, Adam, just for you. Amen to that. I'm with that. Uh, oh, thank good. goodness. Yeah, I agree. All right, so you have this center I, I, room I, now. I was just blessing myself, Adam. 
<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Ghost will check the door for any additional traps. Possibly. Did I center on? Did it center for either of those buttons or no? Yeah. Or shift. Oh, there. there shift. That did it. Okay. And I changed my color. Right. You could change your color. Did you know that? Click on it and change your color. Oh. How That's do you crazy. wait? How do you change the color? You, you just click on your color. Oh, and You can what? change it. That's crazy. You can put in a custom color. Oh, yes. that's cool. And then you, you guys can all can all control click and highlight a spot you want. Yeah, I've been I've done that before. Mm. So. Oh, nice. See tutorial. What do you know? Good. I'm going hunter <laughs> green now. Uh, so he does a perception on the door and rolled a uh, 15 to look for traps. Uh, you don't hear anything? Oh, you don't see anything, sorry. You don't see anything clearly that's clearly trapped. You don't see any signs of a detonator or a bomb. Okay. Well, that's uh, good. He'll use stealth, and he'll try to, as quietly as possible, open the door. Did anybody else want to make it do anything before he opened the door? Duck. Back around the corner. <laughs> Goose. <Yeah. laughs> You're hiding around. Uh, why don't you put yourself where you want to be when he opens <laughs> oh. Yep, that works. Actually, yeah, I like where I am. Trigger, do you want to be a little farther back? I can be further back. Up yes. To, up to you. I do not want you to be caught. Um. Well, somebody has to be there to back Ozzy. I'm right here, but yes. Well, I I can't see you. Oh. You don't see him to the right of Ozzy right now? No. Oh, they, oh that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, like like you like literally it looks like you're hiding. That's because I am so stealthy. Haha. -ha, I have fooled <laughs> yeah. you. No, I thought it was because you were so small. small. Why, are, why are you messing with me like that, ghost? I am Come sorry. On. I am sorry, Trigger. I am very okay, I'm the, if, if you are right there, then I'm gonna move here. Okay. I, the dog just farted on Amy. <laughs> <laughs> What? Is that his tuba? His <laughs> tuba. Wow. I don't believe a dog that size has a tuba. <laughs> More no. like a kazoo, I'm thinking. Yeah. So. Kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I am uh, gonna. All right. So, ghost, you open the door. Yep. 18 on stealth. A natural one. <laughs> Your stealth is 17. Mm -hmm. You see that much of the space until you open the door further. Look at how cool, cool that was. That is that really was cool. Neat. Uh, how about how about I sneak throw, in? How about I sneak in before we open the door? Just throw a bomb in there. There might be treasure. We've got these explosives and grenades, right? And uh, detonators, right? So throw an explosive and close the door. <laughs> so for the record, since you did not ask, but I will. Um, they are equivalent to an incendiary, incendiary grenade Mark I. Uh, looking it up right now. It's like a D10 or D8, I think. She wants to see the grenade. Uh, incendiary grenade Mark I mark has a range of 20 feet. It does 1D6 fire damage uh, when it explodes, but it also causes a burn. Uh, of 1d4 in 5 foot radius. It's a detonates in a spray of superheated plasma. Uh, Ghost will sneak in uh, and see what he sees without opening the door further. He'll go like right there. And I'll telepathically ask him what he sees. Oh, that's clever. Alright, and uh, what was your stealth check on the sneak in? 31. Alright. He rolled a natural two. <laughs> <laughs> that was a 14. That was a pretty good roll. Natural 14. So that was opposed by my, by my perception? Probably. Oh, uh, I can look that up real quick. The check is opposed by the perception checks of creatures in the area that might detect you, which implies multiple checks for multiple creatures. A creature that fails the opposed skill check 
treats you as if you had total concealment as long as you continue to have actual cover or concealment. A creature that succeeds at the opposed skill check either sees you or pinpoints you in situations <clears throat> where you have total concealment. All right. Um, so that, as you enter, I did learn, by the way, I can drag everybody off now to a different map and only show Bob what happens, but I'm not going to. Oh, neat. Hmm. Um, Actually, I, might, I should probably just show you the whole thing. As you, as you enter, Bob. Well, that guy's really close. That uh, it's a statue oh. that, that's, that, that says, um, um, you are not welcome here. And that draws the attention of everybody else who's in the room. I'll reveal the room now. Oh, the statue speaks? The statue speaks. Mm -hmm. There are two statues um, off to the top right. That is a uh, Kasathan. You're, from what you know and what you've seen, you believe that is Sarni. Um, oh, she's okay. sitting on the floor and kind of in a ball, not really well. Professor Sarni. Ah. And the person at the top of the stairs. Uh, I'm reading this top part here as a raised elevated area. Okay. Um, the person there is um, what you believe based on um, actually, give me a culture check, Bob, since sure. you're the one in there. It's the Fritos. That's beautiful. Oh, let's be real. We all know that. Uh, I rolled a natural three, so it was a 12. Okay, Jules just called it. So you, you, you're guessing that's Tahoman, the cult leader. Hmm. Roll for initiative. Okay. All of us? Everybody. I'm relaying this uh, telepathically Wait, back to the Before captain. we roll, do we want to make sure this thing's up so it'll put it into the turn order? I'll put, I'm adding everybody right now. Hold on one sec. That turn. You're all in there. Add the other two. Turn. Uh, hold on. Stop. Stop. Stopping. Stop. I, I added everybody twice by accident. I've done that before. You could just delete the uh, ones on the bottom. Like everybody, I did. Yeah, I didn't click not on you before I clicked on the guy to add his turn. Uh, which is probably the exact same thing you've done, Bob. Yeah, exactly. Ozzy, how'd you roll? 13? 13. Thank you. Uh, anybody else missing? Trigger, how'd I, you roll? I rolled, a, I rolled a 15. Everybody rolled low today. I rolled 11. That's pretty good for me. <laughs> It's not great, but it's pretty good. Oh, a I twelve least, is I take a twelve back. is phenomenal. I at least <laughs> did well. <laughs> I get plus six. The oh, gosh. Any, anything above a five is magical. <laughs> Says our mystic. That's you know, right. I could have sworn rolling a thirty-one on stealth would have done something, but these statues are really, really observant. I, I, I rolled a natural twenty. Ah, okay. <laughs> Tahoman didn't see you. The statue did. He rolled. A, yeah, I rolled a Tahoman. But yeah, the natural twenty. I had to uh, defer to that. We roll a couple initiative orders here. Well, for what it's worth, twenty just means a twenty on a skill check. Yes, but he still had plus six. Uh, plus was it, it oh, was enough okay. that it was worth looking. It was. For. It was legit. Okay. Yeah. It was more than plus eleven. All statues do is look for things. That's right. He's got a point there. I rolled a natural 19 for Tahoman. Oh, I clicked. I have a GM roll, so you can't see it, but I should roll there. And oh, yeah. nice. And the rule I was kind of D &D, wondering about that. Whenever you see a statue in D&D, &D, always attack the statue. Just destroy and it. And the statue... Uh, I can show it to Jules if you don't believe me that I actually hey, No, I believe you. Whatever. We trust your judgment. You're the GM, man. All right. Um, Tahoman looks up. He sees um, Ghost as a result of the uh, Lord Guardians um, um, calling him out. And Ghost, you feel 
a, 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 a almost like a worm squiggling around in your th your thoughts. A, a psychic mind thrust. Um, give me a will save. Oh no, this is bad. Don't you like worms? No. But you're a mouse. My will save is a uh, fourteen. Like do my yeah, I do my DC for this? I didn't do. Uh, let me see. It's mind thrust. Yeah, I have that, don't I? Yeah, you do. But you have uh, like two feats that improve your your DC on this thing. Um. So. How is the? It only deals two d ten damage to your mind. No, that's uh, a, that's only if you're level one. It went, that's oh. at your level, Chris. <laughs> oh, that's when the spell is cast at level two, it becomes four d ten. When it becomes a level three spell, it becomes seven d ten. It's it goes up as your level is, the spell level goes up. Gee, mother of goodness. Yeah, so I need I need to know what the DC is for this. He's a CR five, so I'm assuming he's fifth level, which means he would roll it at a. Uh, not yeah. insignificant quantity. Yeah, I've got to admit, I've never understood the challenge rating thing. Why don't they just call it freaking level? What? Like, because I don't know if it is actually level or not. She's still trying. Just, just, just saying. Uh, okay, so mind thrust. This this is the worst spell layout, by the way. In the, it starts in the bottom of the left hand column, three lines. It goes to the top of the right hand column for six lines. There's a picture below it. Then you have to turn the page to get to the last part of the spell. <laughs> so I'm just trying um, to see how do you find the DC for a mind thrust? Is that like where do you want to just call it spell description? Say no, it doesn't. Or is it an attack roll? I'm going to run to the men's room really quick, Bob. If you don't come back, I'm going to say um, DC 10 spell level. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be more. If he's a level 5 guy, then uh, I bet you it's got... Because Chris's DC is more than 10 for his mind thrust. Uh, it's got to be in the book, probably under the mystic section. Let me see. It, it's on. It's on. It is page three forty-seven of the Starfinder core rulebook. Okay. Well, that's for the spell description, right? I don't know. I think it's uh, it's got to be a different page for the DC. I'm gonna guess it's the. <laughs> I mean, we'll check 347, but I think it might be on the Mystic section. Did you find it, Bob? Sorry. Negative. Not yet. Uh... Maybe it's at the beginning of the spell section? Adam, are you trying to look too, or um, I'm not sure if I'm looking through Mystic right now. Okay, I'm on the spell section. The save of a spell is ten plus half the caster level plus spell level plus modifier. Aha! I'm sorry, you are wrong. It is the DC is only ten plus spell level plus ability modifier. Well, if he's a level five, his spell level is two. Agreed. Right. That's twelve plus the ability modifier, which I would count as the modifier. Wisdom, yeah, it would be wisdom. Right. So seventeen. Yep. So that's I, all. I failed with a fourteen roll. All right. So you are going to take, uh, what do we say, four d ten. Brutal. Wait, what? Four d? No oh, shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't read that carefully before. Oh my oh. gosh! Look at all those tens and nines. Oh. Thirty. 10, 10, 9, 1. So my 21 stamina points are down to zero. That still leaves me with nine damage. My 20 hit points goes down to 11. So I went from having 21 stamina, 20 hit points, down to no stamina and 11 hit points. Wow. <laughs> that was Let's not let him do that again. 
Oof. All right, I Oh, uh, I'm gonna... Ghost sends yeah. an impression yeah. of uh, excruciating pain oh. to Nala, to Captain Nala. Stuck in. Oh, okay, then I sneak in. <laughs> There's no sneaking at this point. Oh, well, yeah, I, I enter. And I open the door. All right, Wire. so where are you going? Um. You can control where you move. Yes, I know, I'm trying to figure that out right now. Oh, oh how much is my move? My... Yeah, it's six squares. Right. And I'm going to. I was gonna shoot Tahoman, but I guess I'll shoot one of the statues because I'm so close to it. With my azimuth laser pistol. Okay, hold on. How does that work? I can't shoot the statue, right? Yeah, you can. Ah, cool. I would like to roll a different. <laughs> Josh, that's you, you, can, you can do that when your turn comes up again, Jules. You can add numbers <laughs> to the dots now, Josh? That's really impressive. If you zoom in, they're actually numbers. I see. That is really cool. I don't see the colors are better. And, oh, and, one and, and two. In this case, the colors, I think, are going to be better. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just changing the green. Get rid of the blue. There you go. Okay. All right. So you're hitting green, Jules? Oh, yes. I rolled a 13. 13 against a lure guardian for EAC is a hit. Oh, really? Cool. Oh, because it's just made of rock, probably. So this is not a lot of. But I'm... Four points of damage. A level 5 mind thrust is 15 d10 damage. Yeah, it's kind of scary, isn't it? Just to clarify, uh, that's not when you become level five. It's a level five spell, so you got level be five. Like, yeah, you got to be like level twenty or something. <laughs> and a mystic cure is sixteen d eight. All right, uh, I see went trigger. You are up. You hear, um, go scream in pain. Uh oh, he's right under you again. Oh, so um. I immediately um, run through the door. All right, move your guy. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can get. Right. Actually, I didn't need to run. I just moved my. Right. Yes. If you ran, then you wouldn't get to act. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I just counted again. Okay, so instead he walked very nonchalantly <laughs> over to make sure. With a very kind of nonchalant attitude. I'm like, oh, it's just go probably being melodramatic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what do I see when I get through the door? You see the, the two stone statue guardians. Uh, they've come to life. And then uh, in the back, you see Tahoman up, up on the shelves up there. And uh, oh, I can show you what Tahoman looks like now that you're here. Just for giggles, since he actually has... It works better if I move to that square. Move to that page for you guys. Um, here are the... You have Tahoman on the left and the Lure Guardian. Oh, uh, what? That does not look like something that we can... <laughs> that is cool. Those are nice pieces of art. Look at those spiky knee protectors. That is, that is the closest devourer. I don't know how you deal down with those, but I mean, if you're if you're gonna be the leader of the devourer cult, you you need to dress the part. And uh, all I'm saying is, just don't need anybody in the groin because that's really gonna hurt. But you know, maybe he's got them on backwards, <laughs> and then you're supposed to kneel on them, and that's you know, no. I'm, I, I wonder if Taho, Taho Min was thinking when he got up in the morning, I don't know if I have enough pouches. I hope I have enough pouches. Uh, hmm. All right. <laughs> All right. I like the mask, too. That's like he puts that over his face, and then his face looks like it's a skull. That's a pretty cool feature. I want, I want all of his pouches. <laughs> Isn't that what your cheeks are for? They're all empty. <laughs> I don't have enough pouches in my cheeks. Think about how many more things I leave the... Think of all the things I could store with all those pouches. 
<laughs> he can put cheek pouches inside of his pouches. Um, but my pouches? Yes. All right, Trigger, you're up. I also you like his gun. Can you his, gun back? his gun is trigger sized. <laughs> Uh, All right. Josh, Josh, you got to take us back to the map. Right, Jules, Jules just pointed it out to me, yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn to Ghost. Ghost. Are you okay? What happened? Ghost looks destroyed. Uh, you, you've seen him in pain, and usually he can hide it pretty well. He looks like he's almost as bad as when he dropped 40 feet from the head of the statue. What? 15 minutes ago? 15 <laughs> minutes ago. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Actually, it was a day ago. It was a day ago. Oh, it was? Does that mean that they have their spells back? Uh, you traveled. I'll, I'll give you your spells back, yeah. Oh, yes. And I think, you you, I think you gained back, Bob. What's that? I think you gained one hit point back. Oh, he, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, wait I, a minute. When you say he looks as bad, like, he needs more than he needs a mark to heal him. Uh, no, he's he's down eight hit points and he's no stamina, so he's got twelve hit points left to his name out of twenty. And he's he's hurting though badly. He's pretty hurting. Uh, uh, probably a healing serum wouldn't be a bad thing, but one d eight. If you rolled an eight, that would max him back out again. All right, your fifth, your fifteen seconds of discussion. Yep. Sorry. Act. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to heal him. He's ghost, and and my I would save him now. Over anybody else in this. I guess party. somebody should save them. Uh, how about a seven on the healing? You that is that. puts me at nineteen out of twenty. The pain is relieved. Ghost, some color comes back into his fur and his nose. Thank you, Trigar. Uh, uh, that is ghost. A, what, what? What did this to you, Ghost? It is a mystic of some sort. He blew up my mind. That one is the bad one. He points to which one? Back. The one in the back? Yes. All right, Ozzy, you're up. Uh, Ozzy is going to move one. Ah. Sorry, hang on. I'll put you back. <laughs> Two, three, four, <laughs> five, and then he's going to move again. One. Oh, my God. Two. I, I love it. Three, this is a, four, five. This is a ghost maneuver. This I, is what that, that last I know you can't take. Yeah, okay. I, hang on, I counted this up for one, two, three. Oh, you know what? I When I was down here, I'm going to move uh, trigger. I wanted to go like this instead of around the corner like that. So that'll save me one so I can move up one here. Yeah, that so if I count sense. it again, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, no, I did it again. That'd no, be no. three, <laughs> three Just put it back four, over. five, one. Why are you moving Mikey now? I don't know because because I'm just pretty sure I can get here. I agree. One, I agree. Two, That's three, fine. four, five, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So I'm right next to Talman. And I, I moved twice, I didn't run, so I'm not flat footed. That is excellent. Now his ranged attacks are severely limited. And his spells. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Okay, seven. Oh, and, and when Ozzy gets up there, he say he shouts to everybody. Interrupt his spell casting, since you know we know he casts spells somehow. Don't mind me. He's a mystic. Clearly, he's a mystic. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, all right. There's my thirty, and I am going to use mind thrust on Tauman. Ooh. Maybe. Oh. Maybe. Adam, he can still cast spells. You just get that. But if I if I land my op attack of opportunity interrupts him, I have no idea what I rolled. But there you go. I don't know where. Oh. There's, no, there's no numbers in there. No, no, there is. For you, the will save is DC 14. So Tahoe Min has to roll oh. a will save. Oh, there you go. Good. And he rolled a third. Oh, but I don't know. There's pluses. Well, probably. 13. His bonus is eight. So he saves. So how much do he take half damage? So he takes half of seven. So he takes three. Why does it, it take half a seven? So the way that your power works, Chris, is you roll the damage, and if the critical, rather, if the target save, makes a save, he takes half the damage that you rolled. So you rolled seven points. He succeeded on his will save, so he takes three points. Oh, okay. Just like when he attacked me, he did 30 points of damage. I did not succeed on my save, so I took 30 points of damage. 
Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, I don't agree. Hit me. Ghost drop. Uh, let's see. Tahoe man or a lore guardian? Trigger, which do I target? Talaman, the guy, the guy we need, we need him dead. Okay. Uh, he does a trick attack. He steps to the right, to the corner of the room, and aims for Tahoman. Does Tahoman have a CR of nine or less? No. He has a C. Oh, he has he has a CR of five. Okay. So the trick attack portion, uh, it's a successful trick. Now for the actual attack portion. He rolled a. I love box dice. A 21. Actually, uh, with coordinated attack, it's a 22 against EAC. That's right. Thank you. I'd forgotten about coordinated attack, you know, since the last combat. That is, still ahead. Uh, that ahead. is maximum damage with both the pistol and the trick attack for 13 fire damage on Tahoe Man. Oh, okay. I can I do some maths. I can do math. And I gotta, I gotta read one thing quickly. <laughs> oh, some of those dice are from the trick attack as well, from the stealth roll and uh, the three dice for the three D8s for the trick attack as well, plus the one D4 for the azimuth laser. So I think... He, see, he, he doesn't seem to take all the damage. He, he does take some, mm. but he, seems, he appears to resist some of it. Okay. Uh, can I look at his equipment? Like, what does he, what does he have on him? Can I identify the weapons? Uh, give me a perception check. Sure. Perception check is seven, seventeen. Uh, he has uh, a suit, Mark One, and a liquidator, dis liquidator disintegrator pistol. Sorry, the first thing you said to something, Mark One. A D suit. Mark one. A D suit, Mark one. Okay. Yes. All right. The lore guardians. The green lore guardian will throw his spear at oh. Ozzy. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. Wait, Adam. What did I roll? Like effect. Uh, this is a spell or spell like effect, correct? You know, it is a physical object. Wait, what is he throwing at me? His spear. I, I heard fear something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He misses. However, he uses his transposing strike after throwing where he can move to where the spear, to the, to spear, the, the square next to where the spear was. Henry, come on. Oh, that's interesting. Look at I use strategy. Nice. <laughs> wow. Um, that's interesting. Uh, the blue one will advance. Because he's not he's not um, flanked there, correct? Do not believe he is flanked. Flanking right. works the same way as it did in Four Reef, to my knowledge. And uh, uh, on a one, he's attacking Ghost. On a two, he's attacking Trigger. I'm curious, how much did the Lord Guardian miss by? Because he I may have like. Four. He may, he may have like thrown the spear like on the other side of the room. Like he may have like meant to throw it straight, and it actually went ninety degrees to the right. <laughs> I rolled. I rolled a four. I have plus ten, so it was fourteen. Yeah. Did it hit somebody else by accident? No. no. Yeah. I rolled a, D, a one, so you'll attack ghost. Um. So. Henry. What's the plus? Oh my god! I rolled a D a two on my D twenty. I know, but what's your plus? You might still hit. <laughs> 10. Uh, oh, you missed by 6. Uh, 18 EAC and 19 KAC. All right. Uh, Nala, you're out in the woods still. Is Jeff awake still? Probably not. So, uh, Bob, you don't need any healing anymore, right? I do. I have zero stamina right now. So healing would be uh, lovely. Keep in mind, I'm about to get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> What, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's good. And I will use my uh, inspiring boost on, uh, on Ghost. Ghost, you can do it! Get back up! 
I, I can do it. I you can, can do, do it. it. I, I can do it. I can do you it. Get <laughs> Ten stamina back. Oh, thank you. Now I'm at fifty percent stamina. That's helpful. But I can't do that to you again. This encounter. I know. So. I'm done now. <laughs> I'm on my own. All right. Um, Anything else, Nala? That's it. Okay. So, Adam, yes. if I try to use a pistol on you, what happens? Uh, from who? From Tahoman? Yes. I get an opportunity to attack against him. And if I try to cast a spell, you have the option to I disrupt. get an opportunity to attack against him. And if I land, if the, unless the spell says concentration is not required, it interrupts the spell cap. But, Josh, I will point out, you can use your move action to take a guarded step backwards... And and I could hit him anyway because I tried to reach it too. Uh, I, yeah, reach I, reach. I forgot. I forgot. You could take two guarded steps and be ready to cast next time. But he'll just advance on you. Yeah, I totally will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Although, he, uh, if he advances on Tahamin, then the lore guardian probably gets an opportunity attack on Ozzy. No, oh, unless I take two guarded steps. True. <laughs> I, haven't, I don't know how I would play that, but. But you probably wouldn't get your attack if you took the two garden steps on Tahoman. Correct, I would not. So he 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 grins at you, uh, Ozzy, and he says, "Welcome to the cult of the Devourer." And he pulls out a big, giant. It's a survival. It looks like a Klingon knife from Star Wars, but it's really just okay. It looks all scary. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Trigger? Fourteen Always. plus eight. That knife 20. will look good in your scabbard. Twenty-two, Adam. Yes. Uh, twenty-two kinetic. Uh, yes. Is a miss. Oof. What do I need but to hit you just with? Just oh no. Barely. Twenty-four because I have flanking. Yes. Okay. Yep. That's a hit. Oh, good point. Damn. Uh, two plus seven is nine. Did I hear a Niner in there? You heard a Niner. I'm so mad. He has such an awesome spell left, but I'm not going to get to use it. Is it because you're anticipating he's going to be dead? or? No, it's because Adam's not going to let me. Oh. <laughs> you could take the risk. You could try. <laughs> uh, actually, I have an idea. Ailisi. Yeah? It's your turn. Oh, cool. I'm going to shoot him. Uh, describe him. Tahoman. Okay. You have magic missiles now. You have your spells back. Oh, that's right. I'm going to do that instead then. Okay. Um. And you have all three, right? I have all three, I believe. Let me just confirm. As long as you, you didn't move. Yeah. Roll high. Okay. Let's do this. Eight. Plus four. Twenty, uh, twelve. Yeah. Twelve points of damage. That's a good on roll. Three D four. That's a good roll. On. It's very good. Three D four plus three. That's not. That's that's good. That's real good. Yeah. yeah. It is. You rolled high. Hey. Okay. Trigger you up. All right. Um. Can I go be quick? Yes. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, uh, ooh, ah, uh, e. Is there any cover anywhere? No. Ozzy. Uh, <laughs> you could take a guarded step n northeast, and that would be your move action. I think you'd be out of the range of the creature, and then you could do ranged attack against Tahoman if you wanted to stay focused on Tahoman. <laughs> or the alternative, you and I could double team this thing and get flanking on him. Uh, are you on top of him right now? Is that the? That's why I can't see the other one. I am. Yeah, you. Yep, I moved you. You're on top of him. Right, but I was in front of him, right? So I was in the corner. I was here. Yeah. But when I yeah no when I just looked at the zoomed in the map you were on. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was really weird. Huh. That's with the door too. You saw that with the door as well. Yeah, I know. It's very something that's very weird. Anyway, um so I need to move up two spaces for you and I to have flanking. Unless you want to just step away from the guardian and stay focused on Tahamun. Your call. <clears throat> um Who's take I mean, 
Is there any damage on the Guardian? Negative. <sighs> this blue guy has got no damage yet. And we'll keep moving Bob on top of the blue guy. What's that? I didn't touch him this time. <laughs> I'm not on the blue guy. I'm in the bottom left hand corner, according yeah, to you. You're just on top of him for me. But anyway. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see, I the same thing for me, Josh. That was okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot Palamon. All right, I get an attack of opportunity against you for that. Uh sure. No, no, just move. Five feet northeast. Use your move and then Oh no, I rolled by twenty. <laughs> a shift there? Yeah, and then, then No 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 no. He said he shot. I rolled Give him that. No, that's fair. You shot. Go ahead. <laughs> but I told him twice he could take a guarded move. Before <laughs> okay, Josh rolls like 120 a year. Okay. I mean, all right. <laughs> so what happened is Trigger started to move and forgot to pay attention to the Guardian. Yeah. This is the opportunity attack. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Four, seven, 13. Okay. I left. Like three. <laughs> I left. <laughs> Thank you for humoring me, Mikey. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But you know what? It's legit. That was totally fair. <laughs> so, okay. I um, I turn back and I say, "Ghost, that stupid guardian. He hit me. Kill him for me, please." You've got the trigger. And he rolls a natural. Oh yeah. Two, two three, four. So. A natural what, Mikey? Two. What's that? What did you roll natural? Twenty uh, a natural eighteen. Okay. So twenty two. That is a hit. Okay. What are you shooting him with? Your laser your laser rifle? My laser rifle. Okay. And he's gonna do ten points fire. Alright. You notice he does shake some of that off. It is a statue. Oh no. No, he's not he's on top of it. No, no top. Tahoman oh, Tahoman. I Sorry, I didn't realize you were shooting Tahoman. My mistake. Yeah. Ghost okay. shouts, if you have any weapons that are not energy, try them against Tahoman. It seems he does He resists the fire. All right. Ozzy, if you attack Tahoman, the glory guardian behind you gets attack. Why would he do that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not plus, you, know, you, you get a plus one for making shit up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's actually a plus two. <laughs> yeah, it is a plus two, <laughs> but you rolled poorly. Okay, yeah, no, no, I, I recognize you, you are not moving, so it's not you're not entering or exiting in a space. So would you, would you allow me to ready an action, but not tell you what it is, but to tell somebody else? Because I don't want my ready to action to influence your actions. How's this? Um, the Lord Guardian will attack you on his turn. I that that's really not much of a stretch. I kind of assumed that was going to happen anyway. Um. I I you just just tell me what I I I know what Tahoman is. Okay, when I see Tahoman make any kind of movement, whether it's his hands or his feet, not a movement action, but a movement at all. So raising a gun to me, getting ready to cast a spell, getting ready to move, that's when I'm going to use uh, an attack against him. Oh, well, are you, are you, so is a guard, are you, are you telling me you're going to... It will be a regular attack. All right. Because I can't predict if it's going to be a movement or anything, and I'm not going to try to... And if it's a guarded step, then it's my action, and I won't get a reaction. Right. But I also am not trying to use pin in place. Okay. You sure it's not just? Sure? I mean, he's already taken thirty-five points of damage, maybe with some reduction there. But you don't want to just hit him. You don't just want to slam him. Or I could just, you know, do do an attack on him. Or push him over the edge of the balcony, down twenty feet to the floor. Hey, Bob. Yeah. That's what I'm doing next turn. I'm jumping over to get away from him so I can use my spell. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it literally occurred to me, but. When Adam started to ask me what I'm doing, I'm like, that's how I'm getting away. Gotcha. <laughs> that's solid. Hit. But anyway, 23 yeah. versus KAC. Whoa. Is it hit? Max damage. For 13 uh, damage. I didn't put the type on there, but I think it's slashing. When, when, you're, when your whip interacts with his, 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 his body, a shimmering skin like coating of mystical force explodes forth, mm -hmm. reflecting the damage he takes back at you. All of it? Uh, when you take hit points from an attack made with a weapon by a foe, you choose to, if you do the armor, I dismiss the spell. 
The armor crackles with energy as it disappears, arcing through the air to strike the attacking creature, which takes an amount of force damage equal to the damage dealt to you at the time the spell was dismissed. Maximum okay. of 10. You can make a reflex oh, max, save. Maximum of 10. Reflex save. Okay, so it's 10, and I get a reflex save. Yes. So Taha Min still takes 13. No. Reflected back. No, no. I think it's a you take the damage. And yeah, you read that again. Save. What spell is that, Josh? Because that doesn't... Uh, it could be but... armor. Uh, arguing the attacking the creature, which takes an amount of force equal to the damage dealt, the damage dealt to you at the time of the spell was missed. The maximum of 10. So, okay. Alright, so I'm doing right, a reflex. Like Alright, so that's Oh, that, that ain't gonna save versus a damn thing. So I take 10. Yes. No, no, you... Yeah, you take 10, that's right, sorry. But Tahaman still took 13. Yes. You got a big... You got, you, it smells like fried lizard. <laughs> and I still have my reaction. Yes. Oh, that's true. But a guarded step would not generate a reaction, right? You're, you're going to guarded step jump over a railing? I'm going to guarded step jump over a railing. How, how are you going to defend cool. against me jumping while it's jumping over a railing? What was that? How, how would you defend against me while I'm jumping over a railing? Dude, I just shocked you. I just forced, pushed you backwards into my lore guardian. Into your lore guardian, so I didn't actually go anywhere. <laughs> we'll cross it when we get there. Sivian. <laughs> uh... Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to try to use. Uh, I'm going to try to charm uh, one of the lure guards. Uh, give me a mystic. Give me a mystic check first. Of course, I could probably do that. <laughs> well, I see right. a good roll there, Sivian. <sighs> yeah. All right. <laughs> do I have that? No, I don't. Uh, oh, do I do? Hold on. Look at that. I got it built in. That seems like a good roll. Fourteen. That is, that is a good roll, and you recognize that the lure guardians are mindless um, constructs, and you cannot charm them. Oh. God damn it. All right. Uh, Tahuman, then. I am going to uh, try to daze. Why not? Mystic versus mystic. Uh, what, what, what's the max CR on daze? Three. Doesn't matter. I don't know. You got to be a CR creature three or less for it to work. Oh, he's a five. Doesn't work. Wasted the turn. That's no, okay. Actually, it would still. You have a backlash, so you do three points of damage. Let's do something else. That's okay. You don't, we're, we're no, 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 no. I hit the button, so he takes three points of damage because it does work. I did it on purpose. All right. Chris was afraid he might do something awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to risk that. All right. Talman is looking pretty pretty rough. Because of my three Ghost, you are up. Uh, Ghost yep. does what Trigger tells him to do. So he focuses on the uh, on the guardian. He uh, spits out his tactical baton from a cheek pouch. Patui, as a swift action. He's got cheek pouches. Oh, uh, cracky! He's a rat. Of course, he's got cheek pouches. Oh, they're adorable. Great big cheek pouches. But I can't do a trick attack because that's a full attack. So I can only do a regular tactical baton attack, which is what he'll do. Uh. Yeah. It's against KAC. The roll is a 12. And you, you whack the stone guardian, and it's like hitting a, the baseball with the bat and shaking down your hand. And, <laughs> uh, and he will, since he didn't get a full attack, he'll take a guarded step backwards by one and go right there. End of his turn. All right. The... Uh, Guardian will follow. Take his. He is going to do his uh, slam attack for bludgeoning damage. Twenty. Which you can't see. Fourteen plus ten is twenty-four. That's a hit. That is seven damage. Seven, seven bludgeoning. Seven bludgeoning, and yep. uh, there's a strange brown shimmer in the air as uh, a portion of that damage, one hit point, is absorbed by the brown force field on his armor. So he, he takes six damage, and he's down to All four right. stamina points left. All right. Adam. Yes? I I'm probably not going to do this, but I just want to ask, what is the mechanic if the Lord Guardian tries to 
wrestle or grapple Ozzy so that Talman would not be impacted by having Ozzy next to him? That excellent question. I'd have to look in that up. It's a post strength check. That would be my guess. I was just making that shit up, but that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it has to have at least one hand free. If the result of your attack roll exceeds or equals the target's KAC plus 13, <laughs> the, target, <laughs> the target is pinned. It also looks like it's just pinned. I, mean, I can't move, but I can still attack. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say anything about losing, um, uh, 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 what else called react, unless pinned removes reactions. But somehow I doubt that. All right, I will um, just use my spear attack. Oh, it it, oh, no, no, it, it renews. The, it could no, try no, to disarm me. That um, that's at a KAC plus eight. Uh, just a note: when you are pinned, you take a minus four penalty to your armor class, attack rolls, reflex rolls, initiative, dexterity, skill, and ability checks. And uh, you can't take any action that requires the use of your limbs. But you can always oh. to free yourself, usually through attack roll or acrobatics check. You cannot make attacks of opportunity while you are pinned, but you can still take verbal and mental actions like casting spells. Okay, so I was entirely mistaken there. So, but I would need to make thir a DC of 13 plus his KAC, or like 4. Yeah, that, that's true. That would be the problem. That would, uh, that would only be uh, 36. I don't. Uh, even, it's a skill check. He didn't get there. So, <laughs> go for it, Jeff. Say it. You can do it. No, it's a. It's an attack roll, Josh. It's an attack. Yeah, so roll. you can hit it on a twenty. So if you hit a twenty, it would work. Just it, twenty, Josh. Pass your confidence. Bless you. Thank you. No, he's, he'll just use his spear then. Okay. Hey, yeah, wh uh, what's that guy over there in the corner with like six hands? Did 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 I miss that piece? That's Professor Solastarni. That is the university yeah. professor who was kidnapped. That took us on this oh. goose chase in the first place. I'm the twenty-seven versus KACM. That is a hit. Wait, Adam can this get plus hit. Plus six piercing, so eight piercing. Uh, that is the last of my uh, stamina. Uh oh, we need the cat. So it was eight. Focus fire. Yeah. All right, Nala. I guess I gotta take care of the big boy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's my range? I should probably should look that up. My range on my uh... inspiring word. I think it's thirty feet, but I'll confirm. I got it. Thirty feet. Yep. Um. Thirty feet, Jeff. Thirty feet, guys. Hey, Jeff, I think it's thirty feet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, I just looked it up. It's thirty feet. <laughs> Jeff, I looked it up. It's twenty-seven feet. You sure, it's not thirty-five. Let's just average it out. Uh, and uh, add 10. Thank you. Why harder? <laughs> it's, all I've done is like just kind of stand here, really. Uh, actually, Adam, you prevented me from using the Hurl Force Disc spell, which targets EAC. It does... Uh, where is it? 800. 3d6 to the first creature, and then up to four more creatures, it does 2d6. Wow. So like it's like tensor's floating disc, but it can move a lot faster. Wow. Yeah. And I've been I've been avoiding using that because I didn't want to wait because you're right next to me and you're gonna hit me as soon as I try to do it. That was the plan. And the more we, we chip away at him, then the more danger it is for him dangerous it is for him to step away from you because the more likely you will be the one to kill him. I welcome the devour into my soul. I welcome giving my soul to I welcome the end. Well, uh, why, why don't you just speed up the process and kill yourself now, and it will be much faster? Nala, did you go? Yeah, I'm all set. Okay, so it is Tahoman's turn. Um, he will... Uh, uh, he only used the cool spell, but you know... He kills himself. <laughs> no, he won't kill himself. He, it's to die in the service of the devourer. 
not to just die. Oh can my you, God. you can uh, you can jump over, and then let him take his attack. And when you land on the ground, you can fire off your spell. Except Adam has the thing that makes it so I, can't, I don't even finish my move. Oh, oh, I see. I mean, granted, that's at a KAC plus eight. I might not be able to hit that. He'll probably hit that. <laughs> It wouldn't be the first time I've I've tried to do something that it was almost that was only possible on a twenty. I don't know what his AC is right now. The way my, the way my day's been going, you're gonna succeed. <laughs> right now, your build is is messing up the bad guy so much, Adam. I love it. <laughs> he will Just use doing his, my job. Um, his his cool thing on survival life on you again. I get. Oof. Nine plus. What did I say it was? Uh... Yeah, I don't know, just make it up every time anyway. Seventeen is a miss. Seventeen. Even if you didn't count the uh, flanking, it would still be a miss. Okay, nineteen is a miss. Yeah. All right, just, Alicia. Just letting you know. Um, I'm just gonna shoot Tahoman with my azimuth laser because I don't want to waste my. You got any more good spells? My spells. Okay, then I'm gonna use my overheat spell. Ooh. Um. Which is, oh, no, I'm not close. How close do you have to be? Move uh, closer. Feet. So walk up. Yeah. 15 goes right here. Can you see my line? Yeah. Yep. Okay, right there. Yep. Okay, I'm going to use my overheat spell. All right. What which um, deals 2d8 fire damage to creatures in a cone. Okay, remember, he has been... A, he has been resistant to fire a bit. And a B, bit. cone is, Adam could be in the cone. Well, I guess you could angle I have it. selective to Adam. Nice, thank you, Jules. So that means you're going to be already, the, the Lord Guardian is out of range. Actually, Jules, I'm going to do you a favor. Okay. You're going to go, edu 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 education moment here. If Jules goes here, right, then Lord Guardian, oops, come on. Yeah, they're both. Fifth, they're both. Yes. Yeah. No, Lord Guardian is still twenty. You actually have to. I don't know if you can make that. You were here. No, I was one. Over, I was right next. To you. I'm. Somebody's drawing maps. Where do you, where did you start here? Uh. Or here. All right. One, two, three, four, five. That gets you in the cone. There you go. That'll work. Okay. That gets everybody. So survival damage. Separately for both of them, or I think for that spell it's one roll and it applies to both. But tell me the name of the spell. Okay, we can look it up. It's called Overheat. Okay, I'm pretty sure you roll. Do you have to attack? Roll. Is there a attack roll with it? Do I roll for reflexes? You know, uh, yeah, reflex half. Yeah, they should have like a book that has all this information in it, like what spells do and how they work mechanically and stuff. And now mm -hmm. we know that DC is baseline 10, plus the ability score of the caster, plus the level of the spell. So it's 10? 10. The overheat is a level Three. 1. Isn't, isn't that level called the player's one. handbook? So, oh, yeah. Six. That's a good point, Mikey. I was just thinking mm -hmm. out loud. Okay, good so call, man. I have to roll 14. I have to roll 14 to save. Okay, you should probably do All right, so for the lore, uh, it's a reflex. Yeah. So for the lore guardian... The uh, Ooh. plus two. Oh, so he fails. Full oh, damage. cool. That's nine points damage to him. Then. Excellent. All right, for Tahoman. Go low, go low. It's gonna be tight. Uh, Eleven. He failed too. <gasps> that was good. Oh, Jules. Nine. Tahoman crumples to the ground. Wow! Oh, yes. Yay! Mommy, I killed the bad guy. Are you proud of me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that is nice, but a little. She's help a good little here. murderer. Doesn't help pay for college. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's some obscure scholarship. Yeah. All right. Uh, I at least see triggers up. Oh, that's right. We still have to deal with the the, the guardians. Yes. Statues. Never. I'm done. I killed the cult leader. Trigger. Yep. I uh, I curse at Ayelisi. Ayelisi, you killed him. That was my job. And then. Well, you were doing a very good job. And then I, I run up to Ayelisi and I kick her in the leg. Wait, I, I could use a little help over here. Uh, a li a okay, little help. 
here. I come back over to here. <laughs> nope. 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 I stay there. <laughs> nope. Nope. And I just shoot the I shoot the guardian. I could use the some flanking. I could use some flanking. <laughs> okay. If I flank him, I have I have horrible. Oh damage. no no no! Never mind. Stay ranged. Stay ranged. No no no! That's okay. I, I have that. I have my Inferno Knight, which does one d four plus two, and if it's crit, it does a one d six burn. So. Ow. Okay. All right. That's interesting. So okay. So we're gonna use the knife of Inferno. What kind of damage did your spell do? It says uh, it was a plus two for flanking. <laughs> oh, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh. Oh no! I think that's going to be a hit. I think I hit with less on a previous roll. Oh, and we do max damage six. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What would you hit with, Mikey? Uh, six, six. I hit with a twenty. I'm assuming a twenty hits. A twenty is a hit. Uh, and he does max damage six. Fire, uh, six fire damage. I don't know if that matters. Nope. Okay. And then uh, I need to take the dog out, so I'll be yep. back. Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy is going to do a guarded attack against the lore guardian. So this is at a minus four. Oh, good, because I wasn't going to hit anyway. At ten? Pretty sure ten misses. But I have plus two to AC. You know, it has a KAC of fifteen. Well, I wasn't going to hit it with a 14, so it doesn't matter. It would have been close, though. It would have been All close, right. but it, I wasn't throwing a hand grenade, nor were we no. playing horse. Sivian, go ahead and throw that hand grenade at that... At that uh, the <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, with my roll, everybody's dead. Do you get double flanking if I uh, move next to the person? No. Nothing, huh? Flanking is only on opposite sides. It's not next to. Oh, you, it's not next to? You could go up the stairs and get behind him to give Ozzy some flanking. Ah, there's a lot of people up there. That's true. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and see if I did. I say we did. We say I can't use command. Is that what we said? No. Oh, they're mindless. Yeah. yeah. The mind stuff won't work on these guys. That's true. All right. Well, I'll just shoot him with a pistol. I mean, I'll shoot at him with a pistol. <laughs> Does that mean that you might hit ghost trigger? Oh, hey. Shoot in your general direction. That was it. What? what? Chris, yeah. You hit what? something. I hit something. Whoa! Yay, Chris! Hey! Five damage! Chris I know, right? <laughs> What'd Chris you hit with Chris? Uh, my lens pistol. Mm, there nice. it is. Nice sound effect. There it is. Yeah, I gotta wait for that. I'm gonna get back to that. Alright, uh, Ghost. Uh, Ghost attempts a trick attack. He fails on the sneaky part of the trick attack, so now it's just tactical baton. And the tactical baton strikes. And he does a hit roll of 13 against KAC, which I think is a miss. Uh, you get plus two for flanking. Oh, 15. So KAC so of 15, so that is a hit. Thank you. Uh, five damage. And that's it is it. like the GM's paying attention tonight. Thanks. <laughs> that's it for him. All right, the lure guardians are up. The one next to Adam will uh, jab him with his pointy end of his spear. Oh, I hope he's jabbing. Oh, boy. Natural 18, I'm going to call it. I think that plus two is going to help me. No. <laughs> if you see. want the actual number, it is uh, 28. Yep, that's hit. That's a, that's a hit. Max damage. Uh, six plus six is 12, piercing. Dipping into your hit points now. There goes the 10 temporary. Again, persona. yeah. Uh, the other one will attack Ghost. But I'm still standing, eh? Uh, 18 versus KAC. Oh, Ghost. can you find another plus one? KAC is 19. I cannot. Then you have that missed. Is the that I had. All right. Now a lot. Still awake? All right. Nobody needs healing. Nobody who can take more healing from you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, should I go see the doctor, or should I, I assume I should leave him for now and take care of one of these uh, statues? Yeah, let's take care of the things that are trying to kill us. Statue, Secure please. the area, and then do medicine. Statue, please. Uh, 
ghost looks half right. dead. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll focus. I'll look at the green one. The green Didn't one. Say <laughs> <laughs> should, I go, should I go for the blue one? Yes. <laughs> no, I mean, the, blue I'll one is, is, the blue one is slightly more damaged. Yeah, but does not have less damage. Let's focus Probably on that. Probably not. He's probably got more than I do. I got four stamina and nineteen hit points. How are you doing, Ozzy? Uh, I have seventeen hit points. Oh, you're uh, but it's fine. I mean, really, I, I'm supposed to be the big beefy tank guy who takes all the hits. So. Jeffer, Pro one. What was that? Pro one. It got worse. One more time, Jeff. Pro one. Yeah, write it out, man. Yeah, type it in the <laughs> chat window. Did you roll a one? Did I hear him say that? Thought he said. Maybe he rolled a twenty-one. I was gonna say. I was just thinking maybe it's a twenty-one. Sure takes a long time to type two numbers, right? <laughs> I guess my uh, my audio has been good tonight. That's good. Yeah, it has. Yeah. It's really good. It just hasn't. We're never gonna get, quite get there. Did you, did you kick the kids out? No, uh, the booster I th must be working, so maybe I don't need the 100-foot core. Bah, screw it. I'll take it anyway. It does look Jeff, like there's happened? a naked man behind you, Chris, like stalking you. It does. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> He's really bugged. Oh, Jeff oh. rolling that he won. Okay. All right. Sorry, Jeff. Tahoman is out. That's funny because I don't have my video on, so I can't see. I at least see. Um... Shoot. I was in the laser pit. All right. That is, a, that is a hit. Two points. Uh, <laughs> Looks like a range weapon frame. Yeah. You guys have got to get some better ranged weapons. No, i got to level up. Trigger. Guess what we're going to do right after this. Oh, are we leveling up if we survive? Ooh. This is, this is the end of the, uh, the, the, this is the end of the end of the Oh, Trigger wow. goes. Yep, you're up, Trigger. Okay. Um, all right, I guess I need to, uh, attack the blue guy again. Uh, 12. 13, anybody give me any pluses? Yes, Ready I can pluses? give you a plus two for flanking, my friend. And I give you, I give you a plus one for. Uh, Get him. Sixteen. That is a hit. Inspiring boost. Would have been a hit. KAC was fifteen. Uh, nice. Get him. Woo! Four points of damage. Five. And the nope. Lord Guardian crumples to dust. Yeah. Nice. And now I'm going to walk the dog. Okay. Good job. All right, uh, Ozzy. Um, Ozzy's gonna do another guarded attack. Because I don't want to get killed on my next turn. He has 1d6 plus 6, so I don't think he could take you out on one turn. Yeah, 22 versus KAC. Is it a hit? 12 slashing. He had exactly 12 left. Nice. Hey. And that. Oh, and I was gonna run and flank. Damn it. <laughs> I appreciate that, Chris. I was, but. Eh. And that concludes that. Um, Dr. Solistarni is in a, in a bundle of lying on the floor off to the right there. Um, is she alive? She's... Why don't you go find out? Uh, Ghost, right. Ghost doesn't care. He's going to start looting the bodies. <laughs> All right. I There's, rush over there. Oh, no, over there. All right, so Dr. Solistarni... Dr. Solstarni is alive. She's in, in pretty bad straits. Oh, thank you for saving me. Who, who are you? Did the university send you? Can I uh, sort of. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> so cute. Bob, you and Andrew can get one of those. Wait, are you supposed to get those wet after midnight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Fortunately, it's only 1030. <laughs> Don't feed it. Good night, Henry. I'll see you then. It sounds like the dog went, oh, Good night, dear boss. <laughs> <laughs> get a cigar again in his mouth. See you later, buddy. Sorry about the farting again. 
Yeah. Did, did, did the I'll university slip. send you? Of course. Oh, that's excellent. Excellent. So this this is the most remarkable find I've ever. It's it's the, the amount of information here is 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 astonishing. I I can't even begin to catalog it all. Do you want help? What? Do you have interest in this? Yeah. Oh. I have interest in thing. No, n no interest whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> um. Everybody, give me a perception check. There, there, oh. Mine's already mine's already there. Nice roll, twenty three. Fifteen. Also 15. Snap. 16. That puts us to shame, Jeff. All right. <laughs> so Sivian notices um, that that staircase in the center there that nobody used. It, it's solid, but he thinks there might be a, a almost like a hidden compartment in there. This is like an inner sanctum of, of, of the temple. Hmm. And... Uh, <laughs> well, am I, I, I don't perceive anything. I perceive that there's two dead guys next to me. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, Ozzy's still attacking the Lord Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, soldier. Hey, lizard man. It's over. The fight's done now. You can stop. Yeah, <laughs> it, it twitched. I saw it. They are rolling the credits. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> so Sivian goes over and he actually finds a secret. And inside, he finds a lone piece. A cigar. Oh, this looks like one of Bob's puzzles. Mm. And, and Dr. Solis Tarni comes, comes racing down the stairs looking at it. Can I see that, please? Uh, yeah, dude. This this, this is a piece of of, of, of the Gate of the Twelve Stars. There are, there are 11 oh, more of what? these. That is the one what of the what? The, 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 the Gate of the Twelve Stars. That's what this whole temple... The Twelve, the Twelve Stars. Surely you saw them over there earlier. The MacGuffin of the MacGuffin? Oh. You mean when we were playing hopscotch? Yeah, we were, yes, before that. <laughs> there, that, that. This is one of the pieces that's used to power the, the Gate of the Twelve Stars. Oh, this is so cool! I, I, have, I, have, I have it over here. And she she pulls out a bunch of papers she'd been reading earlier. and uh, she, Oh, I have your notebook. Do you want it back? Oh, please! I'll, I'll need someone. I have some... And she, she starts going through and she's showing you that the um, this piece when combined with eleven others like it forms a, an orb that powers an object known as the stellar degenerator, which is capable of destroying a star. Why would we want to make that happen? Uh, yes, uh, even awesome. even I enjoy killing things, but even to me it seems quite smart that we should destroy this. No, and then no <laughs> one can ever uh, destroy anything. Unfortunately, the pieces are virtually in the 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 the, the power source is virtually indestructible. Destroying it would would, would generate a, a, something horrible. But they are actually used to open a gate to release the stellar degenerator from its own demiplane. May I see that piece for a moment? <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Run two hundred forty feet. <laughs> Buried. Here you go. It's your, you guys. You guys saved the day. Put it in your pocket. He starts oh. bashing it with his tactical baton. <laughs> does it break? No, it does not break. Hmm. It's, He's it's not breaking. Oh, it's one of eleven MacGuffins. It's one of twelve MacGuffins. Wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! He throws it in the air <laughs> with his azimuth laser pistol, and it comes down all sizzling. Does it look damaged at all? No. Oh. I I can handle this. Yes, please. Oz please. Oz Ozzy <laughs> takes the. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I got it. Ozzy takes the uh, the piece, goes back to the ship with it, and gives it to the goblins to play with. I tell them, it. here, I believe this needs upgrading. <laughs> it's upgraded. I thought you were going to smash it. I was going to have to give you the I my ox from uh, <laughs> Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I wanted to do something that had a chance of working. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that is actually the end of the uh, the adventure path. I've diverged a ton here at the end, as I don't like the I don't care for how it goes. But now, the premise, and I'll write it all up, is to recover the twelve power crystals and uh, stop the de stellar degenerator from falling into. The is Doctor Solastarni our friend now? Doctor Solastarni is your friend. Is she going to come with us? No. 
Is she injured? Good. Is she? Uh... She is injured badly, but she should be able to get her back. Okay. Uh, c- conveniently, there's a, a, a portal here that nobody knows the address to get to, so you can get back to uh, the base um, that you started from. Uh, there we go. The uh, Morrowind Elder Scrolls Skyrim solution. But w- but wait a sec. We we should go collect all the stuff that we left so we can go sell it. We're gonna go get our buggies. We know the route to go back. <laughs> I agree. We could sell. It's only twelve days of misery. Look at all the money we could make on those buggies. What do you think those buggies go for? Uh huh. Actually, if you bring those buggies back, you'll be arrested for having them. Illegal to have there. Oh, that's mm. right. Uh, we could strip them, uh, <laughs> or just have fun with them. Oh, uh, what's what's the on the bodies of the of Tahoman? And- oh, Tahoman has some great stuff. Okay. Oh, good. The uh, lore guardians have nothing. So they're made stone of statues. Those spears are not anything special. They're just part of the statue. No. No. Oh, you throw them and you get teleported. Only if you're a lore guardian. <laughs> well, yeah, still it's special. Cool. All right, so Tahoman has the following: a D suit one, and it uh, says Mark One thermal capacitor. Do you want me to type it in, Bob? Uh, if you like. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Actually, if I'm smart, I'll copy and paste it. Lola, how high are you? What do you feed your cats? Catnip? Hey, uh, Jeff, are you still awake? Yep. Peter, so, God. check this out. This D-Suit 1 is amazing. That's what I'm looking up right now. It is a EAC plus 5, KAC plus 6. It's a level wow. 5 suit of armor. It's worth two thousand nine hundred and eighty. It is light armor. Um, you, you're still using your level one second skin, second. right? Yep. This, Sounds like a good Jeff suit. This would be really good for you. All right. You might want to get it dry cleaned. Although somebody else might want it too. You guys might need to like uh, negotiate or roll off or something to determine who who gets it. If there's another Ooh. party member. A psychic booster? What what can this be? Uh. Let me tell you about the dis- liquid uh, the liquidator disintegrator pistol. This is a level six uh, weapon with a range of fifteen feet. It does one d ten damage. 20 charges. When you shoot one, it uses two of those charges. This hefty pistol has two small internal tanks that generate the energy needed to de-liquidize the wielder's targets. Disintegrator pistols come in liquidator, decimator, executioner, and eradicator models. Did you say de-liquidize so it makes me thirsty? <laughs> de-liquise? D-E-L-I-Q-U-E-S-C-E. De- That's interesting. In the book I have, I have liquidator, decimator, ex. Executioner and the Eradicator. That's what's in the, in the Adventure Path. So I think that's just giving you the type, but I imagine it's the lowest version, the level 6 one. It, oh, it's Liquidator, yeah. Yeah, so that's the one that does 1d10 with a 15-foot range. And what else do you have there? Uh, psychic this, Booster? Yeah, it uh, augments the power of your inherent psychic abilities. If you have telepathy, the range doubles, and oh. it fits around your antenna. Oh, that's nice. If, you guys are you gonna have, have to battle it out because there's two telepathic Lashunta, and then we have the telepathic Shirin. So three of you could potentially use that. Yeah, I've got some other telepathic things, so I don't know if I need that or not. Just because I have it here, I'll show you Doctor Soul Starney. Everybody's dead. Good. <laughs> you missed. You missed the gear div- the division. There's uh, Soul Starney for those who wanted her. What's mi- what? What's missing? All the gear. Oh, that's right. Uh, here's here's what we found, Mikey. There's a D suit one. It's light armor, plus five. EAC plus 6 KAC. It's a level 6 light armor. Um, was thinking maybe Jeff would be a good fit because he's still sitting on his second skin. 
but uh, if you guys want to like roll for it, whoever gets the highest roll gets to keep it, kind of thing. Uh, leave it to you guys to decide. No, I mean if Jeff's really sitting on level one armor, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but if I'm not getting into melee, but if you don't get it right, if you're not getting, if you're not, but it helps if you get shot at too. <laughs> that does help. Mm-hmm. If you so don't if you want it, I'll gonna... take it, and you can have my own. <laughs> Still not bad. Sure, you guys could switch armor too. I mean, Ialisi's more in combat than you are, for sure. <laughs> you guys can discuss and decide yeah. before the next session. Um, I want, I want the. Uh, is that, did anybody take the gun that he had? Not yet. What does that gun do? So that Dude, is- how many guns do you have already? <laughs> I don't know how many guns I have. I have not not guns. enough is the answer. There, yeah, there never have enough guns. You never ask a man how many. Uh, it says or it's a, It's available as a, the the pistol is the small arm. Uh, these powerful weapons often referred to as the more scientific term as a high energy proton decoupler, as they produce streams of energized fields that corrode and break down matter much like subatomic acid would. However, since their effects appear to turn metal into slag, plastic into vapor, and flesh into goo, they're commonly referred to as disintegrators. This pistol is a level 6 one-handed small arms weapon. It deals 1d10 acid damage. It costs 4,500 credits. It is a light bulk. The range is short, only 15 feet. 20 charges. Every time you fire, it uses two charges. Wow, I like that weapon. <laughs> you like all weapons. Thank you. Wait, wait, what? No, no, no. Ghost doesn't like weapons. <laughs> Ghost, are you taking that or? I am not taking these. No. I, I would think, and I'm not. I'm not trying to belittle your your gun collection, but I believe that um, Nala and Ilysi are still using laser pistols, which deal one d four. You have, I, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen Nala shoot that thing since session one. <laughs> I, I upgraded to the uh, lens pistol. Oh, that's right. Okay. I have three guns and they're all... They're all azimuth laser pistols? No, I have a flame pistol and a needler pistol. And the azimuth laser pistol. Well, the only oh, catch whatever. is if you want to use this gun, you got to get in close. You got to get in 15 feet. Yeah, I mean, you got to be within 15 feet. Are you going to 15 feet? Sure. Then take, it. then take it. Cool. I got a new gun. I got a new but, gun. But I will tell you, if you're not going at 15 feet, I'm going to shoot you as well. <laughs> <laughs> does, uh, does, Nala, does Nala want the booster? Uh, I don't know right now. Psychic booster. I'd have to look it up and see if it's... Uh... It just, incre- it just increases your telepathy. By 30 feet. <clears throat> or whatever your telepathy range is. You know, as a as the captain, maybe that's a good thing then. I think so. Especially if you're like, cool. go get them! Get that one. Ghost! How many credits did these things have on them? Uh, Did, t- did Talman have any credits, Josh? Talman had no credits on him. Wow. I yeah. kicked Talman in the head! <laughs> good, good thing uh, I at least he blew his head up um, <laughs> I kicked my foot through his goo <laughs> uh, nice S- Sivian um, you were told by the university that should they rec- um, and bring her back healthy which she more or less will uh, that the re- university had a th- you broke up on, on us, Josh. The university had a blank. Exactly. Perfect. There's a three thousand credit reward for returning Doctor Solstarney back. Uh, nice. there's like there's like a fifteen hundred credit reward for bringing her back too, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and you just waited until now to mention that Ghost is uh, going to kill you, <laughs> and not me. <laughs> you know that. Uh, if we come back with uh, four people, then we divide 3,000 credits, we get more credits. That is math. It is math. And you know that uh, the smaller your hands are, the less credits you get. That is also math. 
<laughs> but like, I, like I have like I have like four arms though, so yes, but I they get... are so tiny. Look how tiny they are. You could barely what see the them. His arms have to do with the size of his hands. Sivian, Sivian runs up and tickles him with his tiny little arms. Look, take take this from my hand. Take, take this take... from my hand. Oh, you cannot reach it, can you? Oh, try again. Grab it. Go ahead. You can't do it. Oh, you cannot do it. <laughs> he smacks him with his big arm. <laughs> oh, ow, ow, ow. All right, so level up. Okay. Level four for next session. Um, we will assume that you make it out of the jungle. You can liquidate everything you have. So if you want to send that out in the next day or two, Bob's spending. Okay. Um, you can craft the two resilient jackets to figure out who gets those. Sounds good. I assume that you will follow up with Chiskix to find out what what happens after this. I don't know if you're going back to the station or you just want to follow I mean, we can call him, right? You can call them. Anybody have a long distance card? Once you get back to the university, you can have that. Uh, actually, I am thinking we should go back to the station because now it has been a good two weeks, maybe a month by the time we return, and we have money waiting for us at the Cold Fusion. We are getting 50% of the revenue, well, something like that. Yep. So, Josh, they're, they're... heads up. Uh, you'll have I to totally figure out how much money we made. Also on the bar. All right, so... That's fine. It's easier for you to talk to Chiskix in person, and it's easier for me to say you can shop. On. I feel like you'd be able to get most anything you want at this level at that place, if being the center of the, the universe. Um, and that, that gives me time to say, when you as you travel from uh, Castrovel to Absalon Station, Dr. Solstani does some research, communicates with Chiskix. I will give you the whole lowdown of all that via email, which only half of you will read, and then I'll read it out loud next <laughs> That's the plan. Uh, have we done a full search of this place just to make sure? I mean, I'm sure at this point we're already talking about going back, so it's a silly question. But uh, before we leave, Josh, of course, we execute grid search. We do a massive, detailed search of the temple looking for any other goodies. Presumably, yeah, you, don't. you don't find anything else. Um, I don't know if you want to sell like the, those uh, incendiary detonator things. Are they worth selling? Are they worth keeping? You know, is this going to be a level one potion you carry around for the rest of your life and never use? I vote we it's... keep explosives. Remote detonated explosives, this could be useful someday. Do it to the goblins to keep track of. <laughs> uh, one of the things you might want to look up, and I don't know how much it costs or what level it is. Actually, give me a second. So there is a device called a null space chamber, also known as the futuristic bag of holding. So somebody might want to look at carrying one, getting one of those so you can feel better about carrying everything under this. Isn't that what the Yusuke are for? We still we can only carry light things in our pouches. We really we can't carry much more than like two or three bowls. But with a, with a, a, a null oh, space chamber, you can carry, like, I just closed the freaking tab. 25 bulk in a three-foot cube. Right, so... And that's just the Mark Mark 1, the higher that's levels. 250 pounds. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> but you can carry all that armor you, you had to leave behind. Make sure. Well, the light armor we can carry. It's just the heavy stuff that would be... Right, but you had to leave that behind, which otherwise you can get it. Mm -hmm. I could have sold it. So that's something I, I don't get a level on. Oh, did you find a level on that, Bob? Um, not on this website. Let me see. Star Jammer. I was on. Yeah, I was on Star Jammer. That was the first hit. Do I bump up to a level two spell? Hmm. At level four, I think you do. And I take one more of each. Huh? Uh, the the null space chamber mark one is level five. I see. Core rule three two twenty six. Yeah, three thousand and fifty credit. It's very expensive. It is, but it allevi alleviates a lot of your 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 carrying pain. That's true. Why don't we each pitch in a little bit? You know, you it's go. it's not a bad idea. Like in often when we do Dungeons and Dragons type stuff, we'll do like let's say there's five people, we'll divide we'll divide the treasure into <clears throat> sixes, and then one sixth goes to like a like a group pot for anything the group might need. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, let's see when we divvy up the cash, how much we have, and then we can decide whether we want to put three thousand towards a null space chamber. 
So, um, so I hope that was a fun night. Yeah, it was, was good. good. Job, Jeff, Josh, that was good. Yeah, I killed the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I spent a lot of time over the past couple of days reading up on how to play a play all those mystic spells because I'm reading the sheet. And I'm like, what do all these things do? <laughs> <laughs> So. And then it turns out it didn't matter anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I've never hit with the Solarian. At least Tom, it was interesting until Adam spoiled all my fun. <laughs> and That's I would have, job. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you darn Ekarathian lizard people. <laughs> my name is Ozymandias. <laughs> I don't know who this Ekarath is you're speaking of, but he sounds like a swell guy. So, so Adam, when you play MMOs, you play the tank. Uh, is that your go-to character as well? And and maybe a hammer. You missed that. You missed Bob's question, Adam. Oh, I did. My headset cut out. What was the question? Oh, when you play MMOs, you uh, tend to play the tank. Is that your go-to uh, role? Um, not really. Oh, interesting. I, it, kind of, it depends. I, I Utility. Whatever needs to be filled in, I fill in, really. Gotcha. All right. All right, All folks. Right. I, I don't mind finishing at 11 when we play every week. <laughs> and we finish something, we progressed. You know, I, that's kind of what... We also started a lot earlier than we usually do, too. And, and I made useless combat at the beginning, too. <laughs> that is true. We did start, right, 7.15, basically. Yeah, our, our time. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. three and a half hours. Oh, that's actually a pretty good session, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not two a.m., but I don't think I can do that anymore. Oh, so. Jeff, take a. I don't think I can do that anymore either. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It'd only be midnight for you, Mikey. <laughs> I, I still don't think I can do it anymore. <laughs> like I'd have to think, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Work, work has been so busy and stressful lately. I'm just. Yeah. You know, I'm normally normally if I if, if I just lost him too. Me too. Same. Yo, you lost me. Yeah. We heard you up to normally, and then you cut out after normally. Oh, I said norm normally. If we didn't have game night, I <laughs> normally if we didn't have game night, I would, and then you cut out again. I would be working. Oh. Ooh. Oh damn. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to so, work after this, are you? You're going to relax now. No, no, no. I'm, I'm checking out. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, I can get I can get hurl force disc. <laughs> you could show Josh what he could have done, but did you could three, become the next Tenemon. Three three d six or mind thrust. Oh, four d ten damage. You could be the next Tahomon. Excuse me, not Tenemon. Or Mystic Cure. Three d eight. Uh, at level four, do you? You're level three now, right? Yeah. So level four, Jules, do you finally get a third level spell? Second level? Oh, I don't know. It should be a second, right? Is it second? I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I only have first level spells. Okay. Can't trip some first level. I, spells. I hope it's not like AD and D. Spells all sucked. <laughs> I think. No, the, my what, spells are cool. What ends up happening in Starfinder, from what I was seeing, and is it looks like like spells are a little different than AD and D where you could get up to like level nine spells. The highest level spells you get in Starfinder are level six. So right. your good spells in AD and D like fireball and fly happen at maybe level three. So those levels of spells, that type of caliber you start getting at level two instead because everything is shortened. Uh, also, interestingly, magic is a little different in AD and D. There's a, a uh, verbal, a somatic component, and you need spell components sometimes for your right. spells. Oh, you mean that stuff that everybody just hand waved. Yeah, it doesn't exist for Starfinder these days. You just cast a spell from your mind. It doesn't matter if your hands are tied. It doesn't matter if you can't speak. Uh, you can still cast the spell. It's a lot more like mental, I suppose, or it's a combination of magic and technology. Maybe there's something else going on there. But there Jules has, some, Jules has some good damage ones and some other interesting. Good, I need damage stuff. Caustic conversion is 4d4 acid damage plus 5 additional damage in subsequent rounds. Or uh, inject nanobots, but it's a touch. I the have, inject nanobots is 4d8. I think Ooh, I have seen inject nanobots in um, 
uh, talked about as a really nice one because touching is easier to do than hit like making an attack maybe it's a little easier and 48 is nothing to sneeze at no but you gotta be right next to the creature that's the trick there yeah i don't see the problem with that <laughs> and also jewels will have to be within 15 feet to use the disintegrator pistol anyways so she'll be in the neighborhood hey, you still you still need a melee attack against oh is, is it with a bonus or anything or just maybe no. i'm mistaken no okay so that's harder to achieve then i think it also, it also confuses the opponent though too oh in addition to the damage yes and casting the spell does not provoke attacks that's very nice somebody gets in your face you can't cast your regular spells you still have that ace in the hole yeah so all right gentlemen have a good evening good night folks sleep well yeah and good night, be safe. Guys. thank you all for joining right, guys. Us. Thank, you. Guys. thank you josh yep. it was have fun. a good one guys it. Thanks, awesome josh. bye guys bye all. bye bye, bye.